the Miss Corp show, I love it. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Good job. Am I on? Am I on? I hear nothing. Are you still in here? Hello, hello. If you can hear me, give me a what's up in the chat, please. We are dealing with technical difficulties. Yeah! That was a very uh, CSI Miami of you, RNG. Did you put on glasses? Do you remember that meme? That that era of memes? When was that? That was like, psh, that was like early, um, fuck, 2003, 2002, 2003? Like I think of of memes in uh, in terms of where I lived at the time, and that is a Denton, Texas theme or meme, which means that, that like that places it between like 2001 and 2003 or 2004. Yeah, like all of those, I miss them with my whole heart. Anyway, hi, hello, welcome, welcome. I don't know why the fuck I'm here. Uh, Queeb said, "Yo, are you busy?" And I'm like, uh, "I'm always busy." Can I help you? And he wanted me to jump on and say hello. So I'm saying hello to you guys. I exclusively quote memes from that era. For real, it's it's disgusting. It's revolting. Um, it's horrifying. And I am afraid that long after I am gone from this planet, um, which, let's be real, I'm never dying, I'm living forever. Uh, people will only remember me for the antiquity of my memes. For real. It's, it's sad. But, I don't give a shit. Because those memes were perfect. Like, I love being in a conversation with a bunch of people and someone randomly says, Lemon Party, and I laugh my balls off and younger people don't understand why they don't get it and I love it it's perfect I used to get my memes from tumblr and then Janer Janero like Danero hi hello my name is Ms. Queeb I'm married to McQueeb um he uh, guilted me into entertaining you guys while he gets ready to uh, perform for you this evening. Um, I am on the other side of the green screen and Zoe is under the desk on Queeb's side. So maybe she'll uh, pop her little head up and say hello. Fuck, I forgot. I forgot about I Can Has Cheeseburger. I completely forgot. So I got most of mine from um, from Tumblr, Pops, and then Twitter, because like back in the day, like that was like eh, 2007, 2008, there were quality memes on Twitter. And then I was on a gossip forum uh, called Oh No They Didn't. And it was literally just celebrity gossip. And who, I didn't give a shit about that. I cared about the community. So it was like frequent memes that got dropped there, like the time that Brad from Home Improvement, uh, he dissed a girl, uh, and I think on video he accused her of getting her shoes from Ross, and so that was like a huge meme. Uh, yeah, like, I would I go as far as to say that my meme knowledge is, would be considered dank? Possibly. Possibly. I can't even tell, like, thinking about it, I can't even tell you what my favorite meme was from that era. Like, I used a lot of... I don't think I've used it on Disco yet, but I... Whenever someone would say something that would severely disappoint me, I would link to JoJo's Leave Get Out video. 
that was like a huge meme at the time, like either dropping the video or dropping the gif um, of her singing. And I can't do that on the Discord, even though I want to. Yeah. Speaking of Discord, uh, Queeb is like, hey, I have something to tell you. I got I to gotta show you something to Discord because he was very excited. Um, he showed me him uh, attempting to order the 12 foot tall skeleton that got sold out. And I just, I just want to say, as someone who spent, let's be real, 36 years on this planet saying that I would never get married and then actually getting married, uh, I'm glad I picked someone who was on the down low trying to spend like two to $300 on a 12 foot tall skeleton just it's fucking stupid um if i had it trust it would be in my apart i'm in our, our house apartment thing the the ceiling in the office right now it's one of those vaulted ceilings like one corner i believe it's like it's probably right at like maybe 14 foot he could fit in here. I could literally have a skeleton standing right next to me. It would be so baller. Oh my god, I would be so excited. But no, he failed. He failed. RNG, I do have to say, I've been stalking you on all three of my TikTok accounts. You're putting out some good content, sir. It's, it is very quality. Is it... 2003 meme culture quality no but i'm being honest as a friend um but it's good it's, it's very good because nothing let, let's be real it's you and me talking nothing is going to be that level <laughs> you're most definitely welcome <laughs> so i was on i'm generally on tiktok my like i guess my main talking about it like I'm a fucking playing World of Warcraft. My main is Cool Snake Mom and then my alt is Ms. Queep. Uh So I follow like a bunch of just random shit on my main, right? I'm I'm following streamer stuff and snake stuff and dog stuff and witch stuff and Halloween stuff and political stuff and uh, I'm learning more about like like diet and fitness because I'm, I'm starting down that path. So it's like my For You page is literally just a bucket of shit for multiple different animals. And then my Mizquib, because I don't follow that many- how many people do I follow on Mizquib? It's not that many. Um, all my, my For You page is, is, is streamer stuff. It, it's literally all about streaming. And it it makes me a little happy that the um, that the algorithm hasn't figured me out yet. I follow 21 people on Ms. Queep. The algorithm hasn't figured me out, so it's showing me only stuff from gamers and streamers. <laughs> and it's delightful. I've dropped off the oh see, I'm even careful saying those words. like I don't even want to say those words. Like I am hardcore conspiracy theorist. It's it's me. I'm I have to be on at least seven lists by now. Um, what what's the latest one? The latest one that I heard. Oh, there's so many. Hold on. It's um, the sun is sending up solar flares. And people are being cautioned. Uh, this is not me. I'm not saying this. I am repeating this. So the sun is sending up solar flares and it's affecting our communication. And that's supposedly why um, communication goes down in, in certain areas of the country. And because of the solar flares, something, something, something 
food shortage. I think my favorite one has been, I, I can't, hold on, I can't quantify it like that. One of my bulbs went out, holy shit. I need to replace this string of lights. Quoop's gonna kill me. Uh, Hollow Earth. That's my new, f my current favorite. It's, it's so bizarre to me. It's so crazy. Uh, but I do like that one. So crazy. I don't believe most of them. I saw one today that we're actually living on Mars and it has been disguised as Earth, but the higher ups can travel back to the old. I haven't heard that one. However, I'm going to counter. Oh, we, we, we got people dropping off because they're like, who is this bitch talking about fucking hollow Earth bullshit? My name is Miss Queeb. I'm married to McQueeb. He told me to entertain you, you people, so I'm entertaining you. And this is all I got. This isn't my job. I don't know who the hell I'm talking to. It's cool, I promise. I'm, I'm legit, I'm legit. Um, so I didn't hear that specific one, but the one I did hear was that we use, the, that we are Martians. We lived on Mars and we fucked it up. And then we came here. And all of the the artifacts and like like bullshit the reason why they can't carbon date like dinosaur bones properly i'm using quoting figures properly is because they're man-made and they were placed there at wherever um i don't know why like i i don't know why they they if that if the whole crux of this argument, this theory, I'm using quoting fingers again, theory. I don't understand why they wouldn't just like tell us ahead of time, hey, you know, we're fucking up the Earth, and this is exactly what happened on Mars. You guys fucked it up, and we would be like, oh my God, holy shit, we f we fucked up a planet. Let's be better. So. That's the only reason why I think that wind holds, like, no water at all. At all. But I like that one. That we are living on Mars and it's disguised. Um, the one, What's the other one that I heard? That there's already colonies on Mars. And... When people... <laughs> When you say all of this out loud, it's like, holy shit, this is whack. There are colonies on Mars, and people who go missing are actually on Mars working in those colonies for rich people. And the reason why the rich people are so, like, like Elon Musk and uh, Sir Richard Branson, reason they want to get off the planet is because they know that the earth is fucked everything is fucked everything is shit and that's why they want to leave because they want to go there and they want to like buy up property and, and all of this shit it's it's some crazy shit it's some crazy fucking shit i'm trying to think about what else i've heard that you guys would get a kick out of um a lot of religious uh, conspiracy theories have come my way. Um, like that, that that's probably the one realm that I won't talk about just because it's, people love their Jesus. They, they love their white Jesus and I'm not going to, uh, I don't want to say anything and, and I don't want to encourage dialogue with people who cannot have a civil discussion at all, like on any level. But I can have that kind of discourse in my head and I'm good. Uh, and then I just saw earlier, someone did a video about how if aliens came down and talked to humans now, and they asked a human, hey, where do you think you come from? Like, look at you and look at the animals around you. Do you think you were here? 
but like do you do you think you're like these animals and the humans like yeah yeah like i'm i'm smarter than all of these monkeys and stuff they're like no 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 look at you and compare yourself to the animals like you don't really fit in here do you do you understand why that is and they're like yeah yeah like like we had sex with monkeys and now we're here and the alien is literally just trying to get him to understand that we are all actually aliens like it's 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 bizarre and it's stupid and i love it i love the fuck out of it did you guys see that anime daddy is still streaming like he's he's still fucking streaming he is on Hold on, I'm typing one-handed. I saw- yeah, he's on 267 hours. I mean, that's, uh... That's some shit. I'm very proud of him. Uh... I'm exceedingly proud of Jordan. I love him. He's a sweetie pie. Um... Uh, he is... So... Prior, I would so Queeb is very chill. He's very like, like very laid back. He will get manic about some things. I, as we have seen on <laughs> the Miss Queeb video <laughs> uh, that's on YouTube. Uh, oh, hold on, I'm grabbing a link for you guys. I'm a little bit more chaotic than he is. Jordan, Anime Daddy, is like my my demeanor dialed up to like 13, and it scares me because he is just so out there. He's so fucking out there, and I love it. He'll literally be in the middle of a conversation, and then he, he switches gears, and Queeb will kind of do that. He does this thing where he ha he will have a conversation with himself in his head, and he will think that I'm involved in the conversation so he'll walk into the room and be like so you're completely down with that right and I'm like down with what and he gets frustrated because he in his head we've been having this conversation I don't know shit about it and Jordan is the same way <laughs> that's kind of how he acts so whenever it's the the three of us talking it's it's very much about me sitting back and just like watching where the conversation is turning. It's very odd. Johnny Drop Tables, how are you? Corn is the highest sentient life form. It is the sh. <laughs> I do like that one. I haven't heard that one. I mean, I think the one that we've all heard by now is that the ozone or something has killed off all of the birds and so the birds that are out now are actually spy drones <laughs> it sounds so stupid when you say it out loud um that the that the birds are spy drones <laughs> um i like that one i do like that one And I mean, to to go in that theme, it it does kind of make sense. It makes a little bit of sense. Um, we we are the puzzle piece that doesn't fit. Like, it's kind of like um, you have two puzzles, identical size, identical piece count, same theme, but the pictures are different. And it's like one of the puzzle pieces got flipped. So uh, the puzzle p the puzzle that we're in right now is basically all put together except the piece that represents humans. It's the right size but it's the wrong picture almost or maybe it's the right picture but the wrong size. And it just it it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Like we definitely don't fit in here. But I do think Johnny drop tables. Hey. Um, I think that your theory, oh, it's not your theory, but the theory that you just posed, I think that might be my new favorite theory. 
I mean, Hollow Earth who? Who is she? We don't know her. You know the theory we do know? Corn is a high extension life form. It's perfect. What is he playing? Oh, he's playing Binding of Isaac. I'm I'm still having hard feels from my run with it. It's not my thing. It's totally cool, whatever. Whoever wants to play Isaac, it's not a game I will play. Although, I think the two year uh, anniversary stream is coming up in a couple of weeks. I did tell him that I would co-op a stream with him. And uh, he's mentioned the Isaac stream a couple of times in the last few days. So I'm like, fuck, he's going to make me play Isaac again, isn't he? Which I'll play as long as I can be just like a little ghost. Like I'm cool being a ghost. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not good at the game. I, I'm kind of shit at it. But to be fair, he did kind of dump me into it. He was like, okay, you ready to go? I'm like, wait, wait. P.S. I am talking to you guys from my streaming rig question mark um yeah like we it's not fully set up uh we're getting there we're doing it and uh yeah but i'm i'm in the room it is hot as balls in here it's so disgustingly hot i want to rip my skin off I have this teeny tiny little fan, like literally two feet from my head, and it's it, it's not doing its job. Ordinary, how are you, my love? Not to be fair, McQueeb is kind of a monster. But anyway. <laughs> we we actually we had a similar talk about this just a little bit ago before he went to shower. He knows. Hold, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. So I I am absolutely like like the whole thing like jack of all trades, master of none. Like I I am absolutely like the jack of all trades. Like I know a little bit about everything. My ADHD allows me to just absorb everything. So like I can just drop random shit in conversations, and I love it. Queeb is absolutely not that guy. Um, if it doesn't appeal to, to one of his main boxes, he does not give a shit. And then the few boxes that he has, he is all about it. Like tech, all about it. Video games, like especially roguelites, all about it. <laughs> and it's just, it, it's, it's so ridiculous to watch. Like no one is supposed to make noise. <laughs> And I think, uh, okay, I'm not speaking as Queeb here. I'm speaking as Ms. Queeb. I'm speaking as his, his partner. I think he, he has been able to just beat the shit out of that game so much that he is just done. There is nothing that he feels like he can do that will entertain him. He is, he is like, he's played it too much. He's, he's over it. So when people come in and they're like, oh, oh, you're gonna play Noida? You're gonna, when are you gonna play Noida? And like, as a, as a reformed people pleaser, I would say something like, yeah, I would love to play some Noida. That would be fun. That would make me so happy. And then I would, I would feel like I needed to play so people like me. And I love that that he's so like assured. He's like, nope, not playing it. Nope, I'm good. And I know that it breaks hearts, but still. Ordinary, it has absolutely been a rough day. I, I, how, how many retrogrades are going on right now? Like where we've got like Jupiter's in retrograde. Is it Pluto in retrograde right now? Um, 
Let's see. I'm I'm curious. Retrograde planets 2021. Let's see what we got. We uh da, 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 da. We've, we're in Jupiter retrograde. Uh we got a Saturn retrograde. There's something else going on, but yeah, like everything is kind of fucked right now. I think all of us deserve ice cream. Uh, I would be tempted to go get some, but then Quib would probably steal it from me and eat it. I love him, but no. I, th I think that is what makes it a perfect analogy when I play Tate Idol. <laughs> He's just... <sighs> the way... I love the way that his brain works, and it, it's definitely one of the reasons... One of the many reasons why I love him so much is that... Uh... If things do not fall in his wheelhouse, he doesn't give a shit. But the things that he does care about, he goes hard. And it's some, it, I will be honest, it sometimes makes conversations difficult, uh, like current events and whatnot, because he is just not into it. He, he doesn't care if it doesn't or directly affect him. He doesn't give a shit. Uh, but yeah, he's, He's all about video games. Um, I wish that he would be a little bit more freezy breezy with his game selection. Like, I would love to see him play like Dream Daddy or like Barbie or something, just because I think those are fucking bomb. Currently, I don't play any. Uh, I played... Uh, World of Warcraft for I think I'm up to like 13 years. It's been a year since I let my subscription lapse. Um, yeah, I, I I'm casual. I'm an ultra casual player. For uh, for a while, I was like really into mobile games, and with. Uh, with everything that I have to do, like I find myself, if I play a video game, I fold myself into it. And like way back in the day, back in my day, uh, I played Ocarina of Time for 22 hours straight. It felt like it was an hour. I was just, I, I folded into it. Um, I loved it. Like, it just, it, it, it grabbed me. I didn't have any responsibilities that would pull me out of it. Right now, I have dog children and snake children and a husband child that pull my attention constantly. So I, I'm finding that I'm not able to fall into a game. I do miss that. Like, I, I feel like my brain is always on, like, mom mode and I can't really like get into stuff and enjoy it. Like right now, uh, the puppy's asleep. He makes life so, so fucking difficult, but I, I love him so much. And that's the only reason why I'm able to sit down and talk. When he's awake, I cannot have my laptop around. I cannot try to watch a show like on TV because he's not gonna allow that. Um, he's into everything. He goes outside constantly. So it just feels like my attention's pulled. But, so one of the games that I did attempt to play, and I, I stopped, I, I was like, ah! was Hellblade 2 Senua's Sacrifice. I love what the game's about. I love how beautiful it is. I was playing it on, I don't know what they're called, those big, I don't know why I'm gesturing, it's not like you can see my hands. The big, like, old, 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 old Mac monitors that are, like, super fucking heavy. So I had one of those, and I was playing on it. And I was unable to zoom the camera out. I, I'm not good at first person. I need to be zoomed out so I can see the character I'm playing. And the way that that game sets you up is that you are, you are sitting behind her right shoulder. And that's by design. That, that's how they want you to play the game. And it makes it completely difficult for me to attempt. But... I've changed setups, I've changed monitors, um, I have two...
Okay, let's try it again. Hello! I'm back! I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Um... Let me... hold on. Ordinary, I'm going to tell you the games that I played. And, uh... Hopefully they can help you. I have a very specific, uh... I, I need games that, that are repetitive, and not completely repetitive, but there there's like a small... There, there's a very small amount of rules to follow. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, games. Uh, where is it? So all of like the 2048 games... are just like fucking ridiculous. They're the ones where you uh you're basically helping to round something up. So you start off with 2 and 4, you uh match the 4 and the 4 to make 8, then you match the 8 and the 8 block to make 16 and so on. There is a game. It's called Sort It 3D. I'll actually type these because I know my accent's kind of stupid. Sort It 3D. Um, it's basically, there's a bunch of bottles. Terra Kittens, hi, how are you? We're talking mobile games. Uh, Sorted 3D, you basically have these clear tubes and the tubes are filled with balls of different colors and you need to get all of the um, one color per bottle, essentially. And there's barely enough room to kind of shuffle. It's it's definitely kind of like a, I guess, like a solitaire, like a, a kindergarten solitaire kind of feel. That's really, really good for my brain. Um, and then what was the, oh, the other one was like a, a 2048 was another set of games. Um, Hoop Stack is similar to um, Sort It 3 Day. Soup, Hoop Stack, puzzle game. Uh, yeah, like these, uh, these are baby puzzle games because I'm the same way as you. Like I need something that keeps me busy but doesn't frustrate me. Hoop Stack is exactly the same way. Um, the 2048 game that I played, High Queeb, uh, let me, 2048, it's, it's not called 2048, it's, it, it's essentially, it's the same 2048 except it's a pie. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a pie slice. Or it, it, it's a pie, and you have to like you you drop the colors or the the different things into the um, into the circle, and then whatever it's by it absorbs. That I've actually that I actually spent money on that. Roll merge is that what it's called? Yes, roll merge. Okay. Hello, wife. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. Probably spent maybe I, I don't know, Quib, but what I spent like ten to fifteen bucks on roll merge. Oh, I don't know. That one I'm up to thirty-two trillion. I've got a thirty-two trillion, eight trillion, five hundred twelve billion, one hundred twenty-eight billion. Yeah, so like this last game that I played, it's like it's up there. It, to be very honest with you, I find myself not paying attention to the actual, um, the actual numbers on the balls. Everything is color coded. However, once you get to a certain level, the colors start over again. So there have been times where I have dropped like a, a 32, just like a regular 32 pink next to something that was like 512 million pink. And because they're not the same number, they don't hit. And then I have to like waste a deletion to like delete it. Um, for those interested in playing 2048, you should probably play the original, which was threes. Threes is a uh, cost you a couple of bucks. T H R E E S. Um, it's a far superior game before 2048 ripped it off and became a free to free to play nightmare. I think you actually. Oh, I'll I'll. Never stop saying that. Stop. 
Um, I do want to go up just a second. Connor, thank you so much for being subscribed for three months. I really appreciate you helping out my family and paying for uh, you're paying for for cheese boys for my kids. So thank you. Thank you, Connor. Uh, Polytopia. <laughs> RNG. Now I'll be here for just a little while. I'm gonna stay on until um, Angry Toast gets up. He's actually less angry. He's just more like ah, kind of. Topia. Hey, I don't, I don't blame you. I think, I think, <laughs> I think her channel's gonna be doing better than mine in a, in a couple of months. You think so? No. Polytopia looks. Are you talking about the Battle of Polytopia? Johnny? That looks interesting. I'm gonna leave that up and I'll, uh... I need to start adding stuff to my, uh... My, my uh, Steam wish list again. Like, to be very honest with you... The last time that I was really on my computer in a... In a capacity that did not involve me, like... No, I wouldn't even say that. Like, genu genuinely on my computer was the last time that I was on this channel, which was literally mid-June. It was a month ago. Um, I've had the, this computer set up in the office a couple of days now. So, like, literally all my tabs shut down. Don't have my my Steam set up or anything like that. Terror! Uh, frustrate. He is absolutely... Look at the emote! <gasps> there there will be a Miss oh, Queeb stream he's perfect. fairly soon, I would say. Uh yeah, so I I finally got the computer set up yesterday or the day before. We got the uh the new headset. It's kind of working ish. That's working uh, great. You sound <laughs> real I'm I'm impressed with the, the audio quality actually Thank from that you. thing, yeah. I can't hear a fucking thing at all so we're in the same room so ms Quib, um so she doesn't hear my voice behind her literally like four feet away um she mutes everything i i'm lucky and well i haven't even turned the noise cancelling on these headphones but i could if i needed to um i haven't uh, well, no, I, I actually, I listened to that YouTube video earlier. Right? Well, now it's not playing. But yeah, so anyway, like, it, it, it works okay. I haven't tested it in a game, but... I'm hoping to change that. Um, so regarding the stream thing, right now, my attention, it's like... The dogs are still separated. They they are separated by a gate. They do not spend any time together because Zoe f is having these little moments where she like just kind of has an outburst. Extreme and jealousy, yeah. Very jealous. I wouldn't say jealous, but like very short with him. And he's just like, I love you. And she's like, no. Um, <laughs> That's exactly the conversation that takes place, I'm sure. <laughs> it really is. Um, Tosty. Tost? Hello. How are you? Toast. Uh, toast. Um, so, here's what happens. He takes two naps a day. I'm up at like 7 or 8 o'clock. And it's only puppy. I cannot do anything else but puppy. When he goes down for a nap, then I get to spend time with Zoe. So I'm with Zoe for a couple of hours. Then, when he wakes up, Zoe comes to the back of the house and I go to the front of the house and I'm with Toast. So then I'm with him for a few hours until his next nap. And then that cycle continues. I have no free time. The other day, uh, I had to go to my, my eye doctor appointment for my contacts. And I told Queeb about it. I'm going to rag on him just a tiny bit. I told Queeb about it. And I'm like, I, I don't know how long it's going to be. It's at least going to be a few hours because it's, you know, 30 to 45 minutes one way. And I, you know, all of that. And while I'm out, I need to get him food. And he's like, yeah, it's not a problem. It's no big deal. I got this. I, I know. I know. 
and then I had literally just left my eye doctor's uh, parking lot, her little parking space. And he calls and he's like, where are you? When are you going to be home? He's making noise. <laughs> it's like th this guy who who literally told me, I got it. I know. I thought you I had gotta it. got to tell me. I, I didn't have it. He didn't have it. And so I had a moment in the car, but like, that's what my life is now. It's like, when I leave, I have to have a purpose. I need to go there and I need to come back as quickly as possible because he does not like being in the kennel. It, it's, it's very much like a single mom situation where my husband lives in another part of the house. I'm telling you all of this to say that I'm not going to start streaming until Zoe and Toaster integrated. Well, well, one when they when they are together and they are okay, but also mainly, primarily when I can actually give you a time. Queeb has historically not had a schedule, and that works for him. I am definitely a schedule kind of person. I need to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Um, it definitely helps me manage my ADHD a lot to have a schedule, and I think that the people who are interested in me would would be who like would would like that. So I do want to be able to actually give you a schedule. We do. We have a new dog. His name is Loaf. Uh, you can call him Bread Lord. Uh, your Bread Lord and Toast Savior. He is... We actually need to update that because he... Oh, holy shit. April, May, June. He is going to be four months old tomorrow. So we have had him for two months. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Do you think you're going to be playing games on your stream? So... Uh, I... So here's what I... I I would talk about in pregame is that Tears up. yes potentially but they are not the focus um, I am very much of a sort of um, if someone who I've like let's say if RNG said hey I think you would really like this one game if like who, who someone mentioned Polytopia earlier and I pulled it up in a tab so I would like it to be just very casual. Someone recommends a game. I try it. The focus isn't the gameplay. It's just literally us talking and having a chat. Right. Um, I can see that. Yeah, I cannot do something where I'm primarily focused on gameplay. Right. And then having to keep one eye on chat, that's not going to work. Right. Do you, think, do you think you'll do like themed days like a, a mental health monday or something like that I, i'm sure that's a huge thing actually already but. so i i'm not sure i do know that i want to do a few different things i want to be able to um what was, what was the game that like what was it stardew valley i i hacked stardew valley and gave myself like not an infinite wallet i could still go in and change but i gave myself billions of dollars because i don't give a fuck about earning money i just want to like build shit and it's the same thing kind of with sims i just want to like build shit i don't really care about the game i just want to like make stuff there was same a big i don't know if you heard um hmm. but there was a big thing lately about um accessibility in games and mm -hmm. people were getting really upset that psychonauts Two is launching with a essentially an infinite life mode. Um, What's that? Infinite life. Two. Oh, like like you never die? Correct. Um, but the hardcore gamers TM were getting really upset that that's even a thing. Um, because of course they don't understand that some people don't have the luxury of being able to think and move at the same time or, mm -hmm. you know. I do have to say that that would intrigue me in, in, in particular seasons of my life. Like, 
I've played World of Warcraft for... What? 13 years? Mm -hmm. I've probably only died about a two dozen times. <laughs> that's, that's a lie. No, no, no. That's It's not because I'm so good. It's because I'm very cautious and I don't <laughs> play things that like... Got it. I, I think I, I understand. I have no interest in dying. Mm -hmm. um, and that's that's actually why I stopped playing Ocarina of Time. Because it got to a point where, like, I literally stopped the game outside of the final castle. Whenever you, like, go back in time or whatever, or you go forward in time, and he's taken over the, the castle, ignore my ignorance about explaining this. And so it's, like, the same path that you've taken before to go see uh, Princess Zelda. But now it's like, you know, ominous and evil and whatever, because it's his castle. Like, I saw the, the card where, like, you blipped into that that time, and then the little title card pops up and it says, like, you know, Ganon's castle. I forget if he goes by Ganon or Ganondorf in that game, but it says, like, Ganon's castle. I'm like, nope, I'm, I'm done. Can't do it. Nope, I know I'm going to die. Like, no interest in it. I, um, I cheat in games all the time. Um, <laughs> do you know how much fun that is? I do. Like, especially something like, I don't know, let's take Slay the Spire, for example. I've got maybe a couple of hundred hours in it. I'm not great at it. Uh -huh. But I'll give myself, like, unlimited energy or whatever just to absolutely blitz the game. Because yeah. I find that really, I find that really fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Um... Nobody's getting hurt by what I do. It's mm -hmm. not an online competitive game, like... No, I, I feel... I don't, I don't even have to justify myself. That's just how I want to play the game. I played Final Fantasy VII on easy mode. Really glad I did that, because that was frustrating as shit otherwise. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't played a lot of games that I can cheat at. Like, the, the one notable that I have done was Stardew Valley. Um, because the first... I don't know, maybe 40 hours or so I played of it, it was just a fucking grind and mm -hmm. I wasn't enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And people, people love Stardew and I'm not like, it's not my sort of game. It's not something mm -hmm. that I would actively get into. Um, just not excited about that kind of game. Uh, there's too much, too much building and, and talking and fishing and, and I guess grinding in that, in that regard. Right. I don't know. No, like I. So there, there is someone I cannot tell you who they are. I forget, but there's someone on YouTube who does videos about the the different connections and romantic affiliations mm -hmm. in Stardew. Sure. Yeah. And so I watched like a fuck ton of those. Um, I don't care. Um, I don't, like, I, I kind of cared about, like, the money-making aspect, but here's what I cared about. I spent a stupid amount of time clearing out my land and sorting out my vet. Like, literally, all I want to do is sort my vegetables and harvest my vegetables and maybe go on, like, one task a day at, at most. Um, we've talked previously about how... Uh, in in the infancy of our friendship we actually kind of we we played farmville we played the first farmville like the very first one and it was very simple all you could do was farm god we played the shit out of that didn't we we played the fucking shit out of it and we'd, we'd optimize it too we'd find ways to mm -hmm. there was a there was a macro and it would auto farm and i remember when that came out, I was like, oh my god! It was amazing. Because you could just set it up. You had to have your farm set up a very specific way in order for the macro to work. Mm -hmm. um, but even before the macro, like, it, it, it was very... There was a repetition to it. It required a little bit of thinking because some crops needed to be harvested before others and, and all of this. Oh, uh, that's right. And then you'd have to... Um, 
sort of plan out your day, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'd be like, well, I get home at five. So if I put carrots on, mm, that'll be too much wasted time by the time I get home. Maybe I should do like, I don't know, pineapple. I don't know what if I kind of remember the game, but. Uh, hold on, what's going on here? Where? I just got an alert that said uh, my, my computer has extremely low disk space. Apparently out of 465 gigabytes, I've used all of it. Which, Even which I, does it tell you which drive? It has a little breakdown. It says like 169 are for apps and features. No, no, no. Does it tell you which disk drive? It's a C. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's very weird that it popped up. I'll, I'll deal with it. We'll, we'll um, fix it later. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me at all that you have a metric button of, of stuff saved on your computer. For someone. Metric? For someone who has. I mean, we're in has... the US, so. Mm. Stop. For someone who has childhood trauma related somewhat to the permanence of items in their life, do I hoard photos and zip files and documents? I absolutely fucking do. And it doesn't hurt anybody. Except when I get an alert like this, <laughs> and that's totally fine. I'm uh, the reason I'm a little like, wah, 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 um, is because I haven't received an alert. Like this, this was the alert. The alert that I got was like, yeah, you have nothing left. Uh, Johnny Winderstat is is my baby. I love Winderstat. It's amazing. You it's, could try removing like documents and downloads that'll be the first so it says that i have most most everything is either between apps and features and pictures but apps and features i do you don't have, have icloud installed on your computer i don't i do there you go that's it okay so i will probably so it's synchronizing your photo library with gotcha. iCloud. so i'm gonna uninstall that Uninstall it first before you remove the photos, because if you remove the photos first, it might try to sync that with your library. That would be yes. real bad. So let me do that really quick, and then I'm going to jump back into the conversation. Please hold for our next available operator. All calls are monitored for quality control purposes. My name is Susan. What are the last four digits of your serial number? Hey, your boy. How you doing? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day. I do want to remove it from this computer. Yes, I do. Uh, Did you sign out first? No, hold on, hold yeah. on. There's too much going on. There's really not. There, there is. There is. Sign out. All your documents will be. What do you mean my documents will be deleted? Well, if they're on the iCloud, then they're not going to be deleted. Correct. So then go. Run. Do your thing. You need to disable the iCloud book. Then remove it, bitch. Th this is too convoluted. This Do it later, is too much. then. It doesn't need to be done right now. Well, I would like to get it started while I'm sitting here. Okay. I do want to take a second. Let me glance back over chat super, 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 super quick. Terror Kittens is also ADHD gang represent. For real, are you medicated, Terror? Because I am absolutely not. I was told that it's an it, it it is completely anxiety. You absolutely should be. <laughs> uh, tossed Tosty, please tell me how to say your name so I don't fuck it up anymore. It says he is a hardcore gamer or whatever to call it. I when I played World of Warcraft back in my day, I was all about that game. Like, I would play for, like, four or five hours every night when I came home. I would spend, like, 12 to 16 hours on Saturday and 12 to 16 hours on Sunday on it. Um, was I doing any raids? No. <laughs> was I running guild members? No. 
Uh, was I bullshitting in Stranglethorn? Or in Orgrimmar? Or in Booty Bay? Yeah! <laughs> but to me, I, I was a hardcore gamer. Absolutely, I'm not. Like, not even a little bit. Oh, now you want my ID. Okay, fine, let's do it. Um, but yeah, like, to me, I was. Was I? No. A man playing Stardew Valley a few days ago, and I love it so much more than I thought I would. Yeah, I just... Have I streamed FTL in the past? I've actually been thinking about it recently. I have. Um, that's a game that I enjoyed thoroughly. I normally like watching sort of the... the I don't want to say bigger streamers, but usually it's, it's, you know, people with quite an established audience. But those that are really good at FTL, just because it's one of those games that requires a lot of Pretty intense thought. Um, but I have been thinking about it, yes. Yep. Where it's down an external SD is perfect. <laughs> I'm doing my best. This computer, I actually rarely am on it. It used to be in the bedroom. That desk was used as uh, a storage <laughs> for clothing because my closet, half half of my closet, goes to a snake. So it's just not going to let me. Uh... But yeah, so uh, I moved it out here. I've probably only been on this particular machine maybe. F I don't know, maybe 50 to 100 hours total since we've, since I've had it. it not very long at all, so that's kind of why I'm a little, a little shocked at this, but the iCloud thing makes sense. Uh... Toast, tossed, again, please tell me how to say your name. It doesn't I matter how you just, say it, baby, you just, you just said that. See, when you say toast with an E, I want to say toasty. Then, then say toasty. If he doesn't care, then it doesn't matter. I don't matter. want to offend him. He's not going to get offended. He's he been might. around forever. Uh, it says that they have ADHD and Asperger's. Uh, if I could get tested, I would probably be the same. But here, at least here in the States, it's extremely hard to get tested for anything like that. Um, you just need to find the right doctor, I'm sure of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started following your YouTube a while ago, can't watch you live because of time zones, but love the content, and you look like a lovely person. Awesome work, man. Enzo, thank you. Appreciate that, dude. Yeah, there's going to be a few changes coming to the channel. Um, this may become, whether I like it or not, my only um means of income so that could become a thing really soon we may have to start changing things up just ever so slightly um including introducing a schedule i think uh miss quib was talking about that earlier i think a schedule would behoove both of us it, it, there would that's the opposite of what you said the other day that a schedule would behoove you? The both of us. You said that, no, you operate without a schedule, like... Well, because you have operated without a schedule, I need to have a schedule. Um, it would never be an instance where I'm streaming at the same time he is, simply because, quite frankly, I'm the one that deals with the animals. So if I'm streaming, I would hope that he would be dealing with the animals while I'm streaming because I have been dealing with animals while he streams and like doing all of like the household stuff to make sure that his stream goes as smoothly.
do a snake stream. <laughs> um, actually, on Sunday, we're taking delivery of uh, the newest member of the family. And you may be lucky enough to see a small glimpse at her. Why did I pick up Ludovico? That was kind of the worst mistake. One of those items that I kind of have to have to take every time. The headset disconnected that she got. I have a feeling it's a battery thing. You back? I, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to. Did you disconnect something again, like the webcam? No, I, I was literally sitting here. So previously, I touched my monitor whenever it disconnected. And then this time it just... It just flat out petered out. Um, Did you look up the instruction manual, the beeping? I I haven't had time. I've, I've, been, I've been entertaining your people, girl. I've been entertaining for you. It's very true. I haven't had has. time, but I will. Uh, what did I miss? Terrakin says, yes, I've been medicated for one and a half years. Having an issue if I run out, I tend to forget to get more from the pharmacy because of my ADHD. That is one thing that I'm actually very thankful I haven't had to deal with. Even just getting simple medication from my pharmacy has been an issue. Um, I actually had to switch. I had to, I'm using a third party company to get my birth control to me through the mail. And they actually, it, I should actually have one here within a week which is two weeks sooner than when I need it because they actually give a shit and it's all completely like it's free because it goes through my insurance. And besides, this is, this is America. I have free birth control. Um, going through the pharmacy, there, there were days where they would skip a couple of days beyond when I needed it and they'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to go, go talk to your doctor. Um, I can't even tell you what it would be like to just be reliant on medication, like reliant on medication to handle my ADHD. And then all of a sudden they're like, yeah, well, sorry, we don't have that, which they've done that a couple of times with Queeb's pain medication. Like we don't have it today. We'll have it in a few days. You'll be okay, right? No, bitch. Oh, just please. She's not, she's not anywhere near uh, technologically and illiterate. Um, I think technology frustrates her a little bit, but other than that, um, no, she's very good. So, tech. so back in the day, back in my day, that's the fourth time you've said that during know, the stream, I'm, by I'm, the way, I haven't, I haven't said it for years and for whatever reason in this stream, I'm, I'm feeling it. So we're going to roll with it. I have previously built my own computers. There was an instance where I bought a laptop. The hinges were shot in it, like it was a brand new laptop and the hinges were just gone. And it also needed something replaced in it, a hard drive or something. And I was able to actually do that myself with little difficulty. Um, like I felt very comfortable. That, however, was 15 years ago. This computer that I'm on, Queeb actually built it from scratch for me, which is very sweet of him to do. He offered, he did it. I had, I think the only thing I had input on was like, do you want a black case or a white case? I'm like, I want a white case. Um, but yeah, like he built it. I know nothing about this machine, coupled with the fact that I've rarely been on it. I, he, whenever we got together, he got me on a MacBook. I'm still kind of not happy about it, but it makes things a lot easier in some cases, so I can't really argue. That's been my main machine. So whenever I get a random alert that I've never gotten before, it's like, oh yeah, hey, this computer that you've really been on, it's out of space. So I'm like, wait, wait. Um, I, so I would say I am 2021 technology illiterate. Absolutely. Yeah, it's all, it's all, nine times out of ten, that'll be your first port of yeah. call will be, um, <laughs> stuff like, uh, 
what's what am I trying to say? Um, you know, like online services syncing and stuff. That's usually mm -hmm. a massive, massive sync for uh, data, especially right. if stored locally. Even Dropbox has gotten really smart the way they do it now. Um, Dropbox kind of doesn't download anything unless you unless you turn that feature on. Um, unless you want to access a file, and you can preemptively do that. It's kind of kind of intelligent. Mm-hmm. Like, the, I don't even think I have Dropbox installed on this machine. Like, that's... I, I probably only have maybe half of the the utilities and software that I use actually installed because I, I've been on the fucking MacBook. Okay, let's and see. And there's a bunch of stuff that you probably don't use anymore. Like, I don't know if you'll ever go back to voice mod or, or not. So maybe that's... I, I like voice mod. It freaks you out. And that's okay. It's okay to acknowledge when things freak us out. Need to know about Miss Quib walking uphill both ways. <laughs> Just cool as snow and liking it. I did like it. Put hair on my chest. Then I go home and shuck peas. Thankfully, I have so much pain. Say shuck peas? Shuck peas. Can't do much anyway, so running out of my ADH meds usually don't spell disaster. That's definitely one thing that with our current setup, meaning like our insurance company plus our doctors plus our pharmacy, that system. It, it's complete fuckery. Well, again, that might be taken out of our hands real soon. We won't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, uh, let me finish, please. Um, it, it's definitely something where there, there's too many moving parts. And then there's like some, what's it called? Express scripts or something. And, and it's just, it's like... It's it's too much. I deal with too much. I've got too much going on. I'm completely unmedicated. And then by like even something simple as the pharmacy says the pills will be ready. Yeah, we'll have them ready today by three. So I wait and I give them several hours. So let's say I go check in at eight and they're like, Yeah, yeah, we actually don't have that. We'll have that uh Monday. And there's like no anything. Frayal's cat is raiding. Thank you so much for the raid. Thanks for the raid. Welcome Definitely on in, everybody. Definitely appreciate it. Oh, oh, I like the emote. Whoa, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look. I have a little cat with a an army helmet on. That's cute. I like the little, the love cat. The love cat is very cute. I love it. Those are some bitchin' emotes. I love them. Safety first during Ray. <laughs> Thank you. It's it's perfect. I love it. Uh, Terror, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. That was super cool of you. Definitely look forward to seeing you again. Later, buddy. Take care. Just Blaze. Yeah, I used it whenever I streamed last year or the year before, I think. I think it was the year before. And I used a face rig and the, to look like a velociraptor because... That's where that I, whole joke comes from, by the way. <laughs> I think it's funny. And he didn't. And I used voice mod, so my voice was very, very high-pitched and very effeminate. And Queeb would walk past the room and it would just freak him out to hear me using this voice mod. I don't care. I think it's fucking hilarious. I don't think I would use it during pre-game. Well, I mean, if if you're running, you know, a semi-serious chat about mental yeah, I, health I, and and I probably wouldn't use the Thanos mod for my voice. The what? <laughs> There's a Thanos mod, so so I would sound like Thanos. No, but I mean, people already know what you sound like, so yeah, that's. But it's sometimes I don't want to sound like this queeb. Okay, you, you you run your stream. It's not I, my I business will, to tell I you will. how to do it. I will. 
Toasty, thank you so much for hanging out. Seriously, I'll see you later, okay? Ya boy Pat, yo. Thank you very much. We um we have an odd dynamic, but it somehow works. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a preemptive warning that I may be jotting off here in a few minutes. Um because uh Toasty Boy, Bread Lord in the other room, he does this coup like he's trying to get your attention and it's very <laughs> and there'll be a few minutes and then a Ooh. and he'll do it for maybe like five to ten minutes and then he just he sounds like a, a pterodactyl in distress except now because he's bigger he he's actually barking like you guys don't even understand when we first got him he was a little more than 10 pounds he's over 30 pounds right now he is huge. He he is humping every night. He My is God. humping pillows. He hasn't tried to hump me, thank God, because uh, that is a hard no. I can't deal with that. Um, he uh, he he is a humper. I I um. Aren't all dogs though? <laughs> so. So I used to have a chihuahua that would hump and she was a girl. She just, she did, she got the wrong memo one day. Sure. Um, so I had a, a two to three foot long Tigger that an ex-boyfriend had given to me because like, oh, you love Tigger. No, I don't, you fuck. I don't watch that shit. So I have this thing and I'm like, here, you know, I gave it to my dog. And that was her boyfriend. It was intimate every night. Like they, they were getting it on. Barry White was playing. Maybe, maybe some LEDs going on. Like it was, it was a thing. I haven't had that issue with Zoe. Thank God. I had that. It's a similar issue with Emma, who is our dog that passed away a few months ago. But in my entire time, with the exception of that one dog, I've, I've had dogs my entire life. I've never had a dog hump and had never had a dog hump as much <laughs> as Loaf does. And he even like, this isn't regular humping action. Some of it is, but he actually hikes his leg up and oh, stands Jesus. up doing it he he's got some he's got some moves and it's it's a little disconcerting axis hi how are you uh my name is ms Queeb. i am married to mick Queeb. he is absolutely a pro humper <laughs> it is awful the worst thing i did was teach my dog to speak no he never shuts up what he wants. <laughs> so we got um i got little bells to put near the door because he we, we got to work on the peeing thing we got to work on it it's 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 becoming a problem and it's pissing me off so we have a bell next to the door and I'm training him to hit the bell and Zoe will actually hit the bell whenever she wants to go out really? like she she'll nose it like she won't hit it with her paw but she will nose it that's cool um, ultimately Queeb and I have actually talked about whenever we do move I do want to get the push buttons so they can hit the buttons with their paws to communicate. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I think it's, um, uh, Hey Crowley, how you doing? On Instagram, look for what about bunny? She is a dog a doodle, a sheep -a doodle that can um, hit buttons and communicate with her her person, which is pretty cool. So Hey VU, welcome on in. Thank you very much for the resub. We uh, we're eventually going to get them that to kind of help with communication since there is a communication problem with that. It is tropical Red Bull, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, not the best one. Not by, not by a long shot. Coconut is better. 
Ellie, yes, I was gonna say TikTok, but every time I've mentioned TikTok in this chat before, not, I haven't been on in a month, maybe things have changed, but prior, whenever I would mention TikTok, people would just be like, oh, TikTok, oh, you talk so much about TikTok. So I was, I was going to mention TikTok because I figure, you know, it's bite-sized little pieces, but uh, yes, absolutely. I love Bunny, she's amazing, she's fantastic. Um, but what I was getting to is the reason, the main reason we haven't is because we need to move. We just don't have the room for it here. However, I do have some trepidation about it because I don't sometimes want to hear them. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to train him how to like use these buttons and then have him just, because he will absolutely hit buttons just to hit them. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, water, friend, what? What are you talking about? Like, like I can see him doing that. Mom, food. Mom, food. Mom, tree. No. Hey, Stop Kentai. calling me mom. House of Kentai, hello. How are you, my love? Zoe is just fucking out. Thank God. We're, um, we're doing okay. I'm actually about to jump off because I've got Angry Toast in the other room. Very angry at me. Um, he's been having a day. And, uh, Queeb's been feeling kind of meh. I've been feeling kind of meh. We're kind of meh. Yeah, I'd have a, a rough week. I was saying one. earlier, I think there, there's at least a couple of planets in retrograde right now, which most people don't believe in that shit, but I, I do. It definitely tends to sync up, so. Uh, but it is Friday, so there's that, you know? It doesn't feel like Friday, it feels like Tuesday. Way to go, Miss Queep. <laughs> it just, it does, like, it, it feels like... It feels like the days are, are a few minutes long, and simultaneously, like, 84 years long. Like, it just... I have no concept of time. Having the puppy has definitely... What was it a good move? Was it my best move? No. In the middle of a subathon? Yeah, it was a great move. What are you talking about? <laughs> Tia laughs. Thank you so much for the uh, name of rat redemption. Hello, Tia. <laughs> you want to name the rat meat? Okay, right, I dig that. We got cool. it. Um. I... Tia I is from TikTok, actually. Oh, hi! Uh, there are a couple of people ahead of you. I Only one at the moment, I think. Okay. Uh, so you might actually get yours tonight. I'm actually... I don't want to, but I need to feed them. Like... I, I, it, it's very difficult to explain. So... Snakes are very passive especially ball pythons. Um, so... Sorry to interrupt. I'm just going to take a quick restroom break. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, that's fine. Can you turn the dryer on to kind of help mute him? Please. Um, so let's say that uh, today's Friday. Let's say that I feed the snakes. <laughs> the you is correct. So let's say that I feed both snakes today, right? Um... Both of them, I will not see them for five to six days because they are digesting their meal. So they will be hidden in their hides, no interaction, no noise, nothing. They are just there. So honestly, having to like go in and check them, uh, I have to do like an eyeball check every day. So around day six or day seven is when Huxley will start like coming out and be like, eh. I mean, I guess I'm here. And then day seven or eight is when he is all over his tank and he wants attention and he wants love. And then I have to feed him. So I only get to handle him for maybe 10 to 15 minutes every week. And it kills me because I love him. Did you get a puppy to feed? I did. No, I didn't. Uh, um, I got a puppy because one of my dogs died back in December from cancer and my other dog was going into depression. Um, 
when we had two dogs, we were going to get a third to kind of even out the temperaments in the household. And we just, we never found one before my, uh, my other dog passed. And it just so happened that we randomly found a dog. We randomly got him and he is randomly a terror. Yeah. Tia, absolutely not a problem. Um, it may be tonight, it may be in a week, but I'll definitely get you taken care of. Uh, normally what will happen is uh, I will film, well, if it were Huxley, I would film him taking the rap. And I would say, hey Tia, this is, you know, hope you're doing well, this is meat, we're, we're feeding Huxley, have a good day. You know, it's like, it's very cute, it's very short and sweet. With Faye, she just, lays there and I actually did video of it I need to upload it somewhere where it's I'm not going to get like a community guideline strike um, she is all over her tank like she she's constantly like moving everywhere and uh, it's it's a little weird so with her like it, it'll be like hey uh, you know here we're feeding Faye today and you know here here's me and have a good day and then she's literally just all over the tank it's like a waste dude he's been so you know we're getting the new snake on Sunday right so we're act we were supposed to get a boy and a girl the little boy has not been eating he has to be assist fed every time so the breeder is going to hang on to him and hopefully get him to pull out of that and eat on his own. So we're just getting the little girl. However, our whole thing was Queeb was gonna name the girl, I was going to name the boy because he was like a complete surprise, right? So this whole time he's been like, yeah, you, you should name the snake, you should name him Meat. So we'll have Meat and Loaf. No, I'm not gonna name my child Meat. I didn't name the puppy Loaf. Why would I name my snake Meat? And he's like been on me to name this snake Meat. For real. <laughs> he's like, well, what are you gonna name it? I'm like, I don't know. I'd name him like Atticus or, or something. Like I have a whole list of, of like snake names and like, like, don't worry about what I'm gonna name my snake. What are you gonna name your snake? He's like, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Of course you have it. He only wants to name my snake. He doesn't want to name his snake. My snake has like magical names on his list that, that he could potentially get and Queeb has like nothing. So then I, uh, I suggested that, uh, so Faye is named after Feora, which is one of General Zod's, uh, lieutenants, I think. Um, it's a Superman reference. And when we named Faye, we talked about uh, because the first name we tried was Ursa, and it's like, no, nah, it doesn't fit. So I suggested, well, let's call her Ursa for right now. That way we have Faye and we have Ursa. And that'll be like the, the resting bitch face name. Like, like, that'll be the name until you figure out something. And he's like, don't name my snake. <laughs> like, what? what do you mean don't name your snake? What do you mean? <laughs> You've been trying to name my snake this whole time. Like we have known about this snake. We have known about him for two months. Don't pull that shit with me. Tia, oh my God, that was you? Oh my God. You don't even understand. My life has been a living hell since then. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> VU is right, it does, like, <laughs> I kind of riff on Loaf's name, like, when he's being all like sweet and cuddly in the morning, he is a sweet little precious loaf of bread. And when he's being angry, he is an angry toast. And, you know, I'll call him my little pork pie. And like, I make all these, these jokes. Like I call him my little hot dog, whatever. As a joke, as a joke, it, it's not like, it's not serious. It's not serious. Like, you don't understand. I, <laughs> he's a crack baby raptor. Can you hear him? Like, I am the type to name my, like, granted, my dogs have been named, like, human names, like Olivia, Emma, Julie, Zoe, etc. 
So he was either going Loaf, for instance, was going to get a a he wasn't even going to get like a human boy name. He was going to get like I don't know. I I thought about naming him like Tonka because he he is like a little truck. Um, I was gonna name him Cyrus. I tried. Tyson, like I was gonna name him stuff like that, like even Max, even Austin, like those are acceptable names to me, in my opinion, for a dog that I own. Everybody else's dog, whatever you named it, totally cool. For my snakes, I wanted like mystical sounding names, like like Asmodeus and you know, um, like shit like that, like, like mystical sounding fucking names, right? And then Queeb comes along. He's like, oh, let's name it after this author of a book. And my immediate response was, you read? Like, you've read a book? Like, how do you even know that name? Like, it was just a complete shock to me. I wanted him to be involved. So I said, sure, you can name my snake Huxley, even though I don't like the way I slur over that name. You can name my snake. And then we got Faye, and we mutually agreed on Faye's name. I named Teddy, and he <laughs> I named Teddy, and he agreed to it. It was never like, oh, well, this is what his name is. And he consented. Like, I had to get his approval. To, and even then, I didn't give Teddy his full name. Like, someone else gave him his full name. I just, his, his name was Teddy. And so for this new little boy is like, there's this whole list of wonderful names I was going to choose from. And then to hear this person that I willingly married say, let's name him me. <laughs> like what? When we brought home the dog, like literally the night I brought home the dog, he's like, his name is Loaf. And I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, me and chat talked about it. His name is a loaf. What? What, what? It's like being married to a 12 year old. I'm shocked his name isn't Boob or something. Like, <laughs> like stop, leave my, leave my dog alone. It just plays. That is only acceptable if he looks like a little pig or he sounds like a little pig. But I do like that that is cute. It works, it works. Cat. It's, it's killing me. I had no part in this child's name, like, literally. Like, he has a couple of nicknames. Like, I call him uh, Lord Azriel Cosmo Ezekiel Von Lofington. Whenever he's being very naughty. Um, I'll also call him Loaf Lofington of Lofington Insurance, where 97% of all claims has been caused by the insurance agent. Like, that's the full name because I'm being funny to myself when I talk to my dog. But like, he doesn't have like a name. His name is Loaf. Loaf. See, V, whenever I think of that, I think of the dog in, in Fallout 4, dog meat. Like I think of dog meat, which makes me sad. Just blaze on my eyes. That sounds adorable. That sounds so cute. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I will I will pull up this list. I'm not going to give you guys all of the goods because I don't want anyone co-opting my baby names, but I'll give you some of the good ones. Uh, let's see. If I could spell. Yeah, snake. Do you? Asmodeus. Uh, Archimedes. Atlas. Uh, I'm, I'm picking the ones that you're not going to laugh at me for. Oh, and then I even have the two names. So Loaf's original name when we got him, his name was Dino. Like, Dino, Dino, his name was Dino. Which of course made me think of Dino y los Dinos and uh, Selena y los Dinos, but that's just me. Uh, but yeah, like his the very first name on here, Tank. 
Do I have them cop? No, but I might. You don't. You don't know me. You don't know my life. I might. Um, I even had Daniel Tiger on here because I like, especially for Loaf, it would have worked. He looks like a little tiger with his tiger stripes. But yeah, like, like. No, let's 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 name him Meat. Let's name him Loaf. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hello. This fucking thing. Jesus Christ. I am over this. When I was 11, my dad got me a horse. Oh, that poor baby. Oh, hi, Lore. The Duke of Lovington, those are not names I think of. <laughs> Here, I'll type it out for you. <laughs> I'm actually getting a tag made for Loaf. He doesn't have a tag yet. And it's going to say um, Loaf Loafington of Loafington Insurance. Because <laughs> I just think it's so fucking funny. <laughs> Roland. I actually have uh, Redger on this list. Like, it's just... Oh, he's pissed. Uh, I just think it's like, it's a baller name. Here, let me go in and check on him. You can, you can hear him for yourselves. Hopefully my fucking headset will work that long. Lord Asriel! Come hither. Where's your little... There we go. Papa, are you awake? I don't think you took a nap, sir. Hi. Want you brush? Take on, brush your teeth. Brush your nasty teeth. They nasty. <laughs> so we on the floor. I'm a Queeb. A Queeb is hosting, but it doesn't show who you are. Who me! Hi, my name is Ms. Queeb. I'm married to McQueeb. Um, not a host. He's actually, he he's right here. Um, he told me to entertain you guys, so I'm entertaining you. Hopefully. I asked if you were interested in entertaining. I want to come up with names to help out, but it seems more right if you're 100% responsible for naming <laughs> Absolutely, like I, I completely, I completely agree. I did this thing on my Facebook, which was actually really popular, and it, it, it was a gas. Um, I had people post pictures of their animals, so I could rename them. Like it was, it was fun. It was so fun. Like Reginald, Dudley, but like just like seeing what people and like. Only after I named the animal could they tell me what the animal's name actually was. Just because I, I wanted I wanted to name animals. Just let me name animals. For the back of a tag. <laughs> Have I been in the next tag? <laughs> ah! I love it. Okay, I'm gonna steal that. Because I do get to um, to print on the back. And and it's in the shape of a little bow tie. Because I think if Loaf Loafington actually had an insurance agency, I think he would wear a bow tie instead of a regular tie. Oh he yeah. He would. He would be that dick. Oh yeah. Like whenever you see a man wearing a bow tie in a non bow tie setting, you're like, oh, he means business. I I would buy insurance from him. We give people so much grief when they name their kids names like Apple Butter Poor Animals. <laughs> There was a cat that this was like 10 years ago. There's a cat at one of the, the PetSmart associated shelters. You know how they, some shelters, they, they use the space in the PetSmarts to put in animals. So there was a cat there and it was, it's been so long, I can't even tell you, but it was basically a white cat, long white hair, crystal blue eyes. And the the boyfriend I had at the time he was with me when we saw the cat and he looked at the cat and he pointed and he's like 
Sir Wellington. And I'm like, what? He's like, <laughs> his name would be Sir Wellington. It's like, you're, you're kind of right. Like some people, some people have shit names. Obviously I'm married to someone who does shit names for animals. I love him though. I think it's the Australian in him. Um, but yeah, like, like, like some people just pick really shit names and then other people it's like, fucking, what was the one that just, Rutherford, <laughs> John C. Belmont Pond. <laughs> Son be Talisman the second. <laughs> Ebenezer, what you do not have an Ebenezer. You don't. Do you? Oh <gasps> that I don't even know your anim what your animal looks like, but I can already tell you are correct. His name is Ebenezer. It absolutely is. <laughs> I wore a bow tie at my sister in law's <laughs> wedding when I was seven. I very much miss it. <laughs> I don't think lo loaf. It, it's hello, sleep. How are you? So loaf's name does fit him, kind of. It absolutely does. It shut up. It does fit him, but then it doesn't. Like he's he only responds to a few words right now. One of them is a uh, drop and come here. I need to see you so much. And then like he'll, he'll come, but I, I don't know. I don't know if it's because he doesn't respond to loaf or because I just don't like saying loaf. Um, but I generally just call him like loafy because we have Zoe, Zoe and loafy. Can he I, have... I generally don't shame him for his name. He he treats me like an adult. Stop. So. Sleep high. How are you, my love? Uh, Tia, can he have a little bowler hat to go with this bow tie? I... I'm going to be straight with you. I don't think he would wear a bowler hat. Hey, spectator. What's going on? I think on? he would wear a newsboy. I think he would wear a newsboy. What do I know? I'm just his mother. Just saying. Connor, uh, he would be one of those insurance agents that does a little bit of everything. Like, he want, he, he doesn't focus on one thing. It'd be he, shady, too. It'd be like in a uh, strip mall somewhere. Absolutely. Like, what was, what's that, um, Wild Things? Do you remember that movie with, like, Nev Campbell and Denise Richards mm -hmm, was mm -hmm, in it? Mm -hmm. Bill Murray's was Bill yeah Bill Murray's insurance agency. Oh, I don't remember it in that detail. Was, it was in a strip ball, and it was one big room. And so, like at the front of the room was a, the little reception desk with the receptionist, and then they had like a room divider, and his desk was on the other side of the room divider. <laughs> and so, whenever someone came, in, she's like, "I'll let him know you're here." And she stands up and she's like, "Do you have people here?" And he would stand up and he was just like, thanks. And it was just, they took it so seriously. And I think that is exactly how Loaf would run his insurance agency. He absolutely would be. Uh, oh, he, oh. If you guys are near a computer, you need to look up a car and terrier if you don't know what they look like. Because they, that is absolutely an Ebenezer if I ever fucking saw one. For real. I had a cat, it died, but it was super bad brain damage from a stroke. Like he would walk into walls and miss when he scratched his head. So we called him Tar. Oh my God, that poor baby. But I know you meant it with love. Like it wasn't, you, you weren't meaning it in a derogatory way. You meant it with love. View, that, that's kind of how I translated in my head. But it kind of makes it, it's just, it's not a name I would pick. It's not. Spectator, hi, how are you, my love? Just woke up, more important question, how are you? We are doing fantastic. Mm. Yes! The way, thank you. I was trying to think and I was like, what? there was a, it's not Benji, what was it? It was Toto, thank you so much.
the way? You just the, the way, way that life can suck. Oh, okay. I don't I don't know what that means. That's his username, the way that life can suck. Oh, okay. Yes. Wait, who's who's meh? Why is Ms. Queeb telling you all how I'm feeling today? All of these questions. Oh, I think because earlier we, we were all saying that we were in just a very meh mood. Hmm, okay. Like it was you and me and I think ordinary? I believe, yeah. No, I'm, but, I'm doing all right today. Yeah, like, like it's... it's I had the uh, coffee drink earlier, that's why I am uh, suffering from a little bit of stomach pain, but other than that, I'm, I'm good. Queeb? Why? Because I felt like drinking coffee? Shaking my head. I am struggling quite a lot with this character, though. Um, this seems like a decent-ish run so far. I'd love an extra... An extra point of health, though. That would be nice. Um, I gotta unlock the wooden nickel for this guy because, uh... Yeah, without that... Pretty fly. Bit tough. Did you disconnect again? No, I'm here. I'm, I'm being quiet. What? While you're talking. Oh. I don't know. I'm trying to be fucking polite. I'm sorry, man. Just over here, like in my fields, just doing my shit. You know how it is? I'm I'm also like I'm I'm kind of like one ear is kind of turned towards the door listening for Loaf to freak out again because when he he goes off I'm gonna have to go. Mm. Mr. Loaf never played any of the Isaac games, are they worth it? Fuck Spe yes. Speaking of someone who who played one once for like an hour. Eh. You played for three hours. Was it three hours? And like you that. didn't really play it. You were uh, well, content to dying. shoot a, shoot around as a ghost. Tell, tell me... Did your wife pick this game? Did did she pick the game? Or did you pick the game? I believe I picked the game. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Did you give your wife time to like learn kind of what the game was about? Learn the binding did of you, Isaac. Did you do that? Would you have done that? Did you teach did you, did you like help your wife learn the controls? Did you do that? I did. You I did? have a recording of it actually. Here's what you did. Push this button to do this. Push this button to do that. Okay, VU. that's where that's where learning starts, right? V U is Team Nana. Oh, that's it fine. It says right there. It that's, says Team Nana. That's fine. They're they're relatively new to chat, so. You know what? That's fine. I would die for V U. I would. Leave my person alone. Hmm. Doing. Either. The way that life can suck, how about solutions? Just blaze it. Be a spectator on drugs. V, you have options. <laughs> Maybe sleepwalker it off. <laughs> Sleep worth it. I think... I think you have to be a very specific type of player to enjoy it. I mean, th there's... Uh, obviously, there have been people who've played hundreds and thousands of hours of it. I was in a meh mood in the last few months, but now I'm feeling amazing. Hope everyone is doing great. You know what? I am now, thanks to you. Thank you, Jiminy. Thank you. You become the Isaac. Uh, they have a chance to pay out with a few items. They give you coins sometimes upon activating. Yeah worth playing out except with this character I have very limited HP so I don't really have much of an option here 
Hmm. To be fair, how many ways are there to teach controls other than this? To the that to be very true, yes. If I said secretly, I like the name. <laughs> I'll do it, you. It's just, it's not my thing. It's not. I don't even call Huxley Huxley. Like his name is Huxy. Oh, he's my handsome man. Which, by the way, he might be up. He might be up. Let's go see if my baby is up. Because I have to feed him today. And I'm not happy. No, he's in his pot. I mean, Wait, his dad was too, so. So yeah, maybe we'll get snakes in a bit. Did you, did you put the pot back in? His little, not a pot, uh, what's it, the, the pipe, the, the, the white pipe at the back. Oh, right. Okay. No, his name needs to be like, you know, like, like Archimedes or something like, like a mystical wizardly name. Let's name them after wizards. Although, if I name him Pork Pie, it would be kind of cute. Wouldn't that be, would be uh, encroaching on your friend's naming schema? What friend? The friend with the animal called Pork Pie. I don't have a friend with an animal called Pork you Pie. Tell me about them. Yes, you do. I said I call loaf pork pie. Mm -mm. No, no, no. You said they found him in a dumpster at the back of a Chinese restaurant and they called him pork oh, pie. Oh, holy shit. That's ages ago. No, that is um, pork roll. That was a kitten. White and gray kitten. Um, her name is Allie. Allie? Her name is Allie. Um, they named this kitten pork roll. It's a, I think it's he a good actually, name. I like it. It is a good name. I think he actually died, but it's a good name. Um, but yeah, like pork pie. I think that would kind of be a cute name for a snake, but I don't know. I need to think about it. Um, he is not a, a fan. I'm using quotey fingers. He is not a fancy morph of snake. He is a, a wild type snake. So he's like what you would find in the wild. Um, they call it like a normal. So he needs a, a pretty fantastic name. So I don't know. Might put that on the list. Uh, my animals are named after food things, pumpkin, spice, pepper, peach. So I guess meat just feels right to me. I like it a little bit if you don't like it. I, I don't think I would never, I would ever name something meat. I'm gonna be real with you. I love you, but I'm gonna be real with you. However, I would potentially nickname the meat pie. I, I, I could do you some meat pie. That do you even have meat pies in the States? I mean, not not the same as Australian meat pies, right? No, like the, the only kind we have is the kind that we co-opted from you and from the UK. Like we went to that place, remember? Uh, oh yeah, it? yep. Yeah. We won't mention the name though, because it's pretty local. It's not pretty local. It's I could get there in 10 minutes from here. No. Okay, the you're thinking of a different place. Hollywood. I know what you're talking about. Yep. Hollywood is not 10 minutes from here. Right. There's another one, a better one, which I brought home as well. I don't remember the name of that one. I wasn't thinking of that one. I was thinking of the one. <sighs> my, it's totally my mistake. My mistake. That you and I and just another rock and his wife went to. The same day we went to the Futurama thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Be gentle with me. Fair, it's not your thing, but he did do a pretty good job to teach the basics, didn't he? He, he pointed and he says, push this button, it does this, push that one, it does that. To be fair, it's, it's not the actual pushing of the buttons that I had a problem with. It's the purpose of the game. Like, what am I trying to do? That that whole thing. That's what the what was lacking. 
Hey McQueen, remember how you said you might try PoE? The new league is this week. You should totally watch the trailer in your own time. I won't be trying PoE. Uh, Devil Daddy, hi, hello, how are you? Just plays. I'd eat pork roll. Well, an obvious name for snake is Slytherin named Severus Salazar Regulus. Persiflor. Oh, that's a cute name. That is a very cute name for a snake. Every new game should be learned on a dance pad. I have to agree with you. Oh, that is my cue. My child is, uh, he's done. He's not going to lay back down. Mm -hmm. I might join you guys here in a bit once he goes down um, to sleep for the night. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for dealing with my bullshit. Uh, please give oh, me a pissed, follow. Huh? If you would. Yeah, he's mad at me. Uh, hold on. Follow me, please. Please give me a follow uh, if you would like to hear more from me. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Thank you, Miss Creep. Uh, yes, Miss Queep will be streaming hopefully soonish. We'll see how uh, we'll see how that goes. Be good, I hope. Am I dead? I'm dead. Damn, these runs are tough, man. I got I came close last night. We're gonna have to do the old restart trick, I think. Yeah, that's an alright start. Look at that paying off already. We're not going to be able to get... Mm. Pandora's box. 15 cents, one bomb. Let's see if we can get some cash here. Every time you look for me on Google, you just get cars clips. Just go to youtube.com slash McQueeb. Fucking Disney decided to co-opt my name. It's alright, it's just a small company. I should be able to um, overwhelm them with searches. And then Google will learn. I was actually told that by a representative. ka -chow. Yeah, I said to him, well, this was back when there was a, a, a content creator named McQueen and he had youtube.com slash McQueen. I don't recommend going to search for him. Pretty NSFW content, IMO. And uh, I spoke to an actual person at YouTube and they told me that, um, yeah, it's just going to have to be one of those things where people will have to search for you over and over again until it catches up that you know how it says like here's all the results from mcqueen or lightning mcqueen is that what you meant and then you say no i meant mcqueeb just like i typed and then it will eventually learn did i see the previous post did you did you did you hear my previous comment i won't be playing it no, there's too much other good stuff coming out, and, um... God, there's like three MMOs, and World of Warcraft's losing viewers to... Um... Final Fantasy, and I'm thinking about that. Probably won't happen. And, um... Well, that's interesting now. We can take that to... Caves 1...
no, I appreciate the update, but um, if it was just like single player or even multiplayer, but it didn't have the, the seasons where things are getting reset all the time, I could see that as a, an, an investment of time that is worth keeping, if that makes sense. Um, but at the moment, no, I, I can't justify that. It's like, yeah, you pay play for three months and then it's gone instead of that that effort. The time that you put in um, is actually returned, you know, or or at least not lost completely. Anime Daddy's talking about me on his stream? Such a jerk, man. Uh, good dude. I consider Jordan one of my good friends. You can clip that. How? Am I dead? Hey. All right, it's a heal. I'll take it. Diablo 4 is out of the basket also. No, because it'll probably have an option to play both uh, a season or, or just regular, you know. I can't remember what Diablo called it, but you know what I mean. No, that's, that's definitely something. I'm thinking about... Getting into FTL, at least short term. Maybe we'll throw in a few FTL streams a week. Um, yeah, potentially a lot of changes coming up, like I was mentioning before. Um, I don't know this for a fact, but uh, this may be my full-time income real soon, whether I like it or not. Great thing with FTL is that I can actually take time between turns, right? Like it's, I would be playing pause, obviously. Um, ha! Huh? How about no? Will I play Noida again? No. I doubt I'll ever play it again. Unless there's another content update. It's still installed on my Steam. I, I hate answering that way because the more I get asked, it's like... Okay, let's let's have that discussion again. Not no, This isn't a slight on you, by the way. I'm not mad at you or anything, but I do get asked that question an awful lot. In fact, that's the second or third time today I've been asked that question. I need to make that YouTube video. Um, let's have a serious chat about Noita will be the uh, the title of the of the, the video. Luck down, out down. A command? Uh, at the very least, yeah. But I think I, I think a video would be very helpful for the community that I have garnered on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of, like, if you search for Noita, I'm one of the first things that comes up, so it's understandable. I'm kind of, you know, one of the many faces of Noita at this stage. Love the game. Always have, always will. I just, I can't, dude. I put 1,300 hours into it. I've done everything I can in the game. Hell, there's an achievement dedicated to me in the game. I think I've, I think I've earned a, a, a slight reprieve. Damn it, of course. Cutting the Noita cord? Eh, yeah, more or less. Like ripping ripping the Noita band-aid off. Um but if I could I could kind of like, you know, direct people over there and, and it might start a decent conversation on 
why I should keep playing, or I don't know. Well, it's not expected. Jesus, come on, man. My luck is just ridiculous. No keys. I think I restarted the run. Yeah. Subset released into the breach and streamers were playing it and it quickly became apparent that it was a fantastic game. Not a fantastic game to stream if you care about backseating. <laughs> I didn't used to care about backseating, but um, Final Fantasy VII definitely changed that for me. There were a few people that uh, took it to the limit. One more time. Oof, that range though. Pixel Dungeon? I think I have Pixel Dungeon. Um, by the way, if you have any recommendations for me, you're welcome to drop it in that channel on Discord. Um, but just be aware that I have probably checked out to some degree any roguelike mentioned. Um, and yeah, especially with, you know, if, like I said, if this does become my only source of income, things are going to be changing on how we, uh, how we even consider creating content and stuff as well. I think the, the game that we play is, is going to be a very important factor there. Have I played Wizard of Legend? Wizard of Legend, I was told about early on when I was playing Noita. No. No, no, no. When did I play Wizard of Legend? I think I played that after Hades. And Hades spoiled the shit out of me. And at that point, um, any game, any action, sort of real time action roguelike especially in the top-down format um that wasn't hades I, what's the point <laughs> yeah what hades spoiled me big time it's it was just too slick it was too good combat was incredible and if i played anything that wasn't it didn't meet that uh very high bar set i i formed an opinion of it it's like you almost can't help it at that point right Got Jacob's ladder. Be happy with that, actually. Let's be honest, we ain't getting the Bible. I could get that chest, though. Maybe. Maybe not. Hell yeah. Not a lot of repeatability, but great gameplay. And then Zealousy says, uh, it's a roguelike. Yeah, I've played some that sort of feel like they get old after a period of time. Like, um, what was the one I was playing recently? Very difficult game. Sort of side-scrolling action platformer. What was that called? Folks, you're going to have to excuse me again. I shouldn't have had that coffee this afternoon. It's all good. I'll be back. Keep yourselves entertained. Um, I'll be right back. And then we'll decide how we want to do this run as well. It's a good run so far. This is nice items. Um, I'm, I've been very good. My tummy not so good today. I'll be right back.
Thank you for waiting, folks. We back for now. Um, let's get this show back on track, eh? Only having one health at the moment. Yeah, we need a health up quite badly. Our damage is kind of sensational. Yeah, that doesn't happen often. I shouldn't have had coffee today. It's on me. My, my bad. I like, I like coffee, but um, it definitely affects me. <laughs> What type of coffee? Oh, well, it was a Coke coffee drink. It wasn't even like real coffee, but it's the caffeine in it sometimes. And I have a lot of caffeine. Like you guys see me pound Red Bulls all the time, whatever. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well, it's okay. We'll live, maybe. <laughs> hey, golden key straight up. That's nice. God, I love Jacob's Ladder. I wonder if we could get tech. What did I have before? What was it called? Tech zero. Tech zero. That would add additional electricity between our shots, I think. Why not coffee? Uh, we don't keep coffee in the house. Or are you saying, why, why do I not drink it often? Because it affects me the way it does. Oh my god, such an amazing item. I love little Steven. He got a massive buff in this uh, in this update. Anyway, like I was saying before, yes, there will be many changes coming. Um, I have to treat this more like uh, more like my job than I currently do. Um, because yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll have um, actual goals and stuff and and whatever. But uh, yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be changes coming. All right. Power battery. There's options. I mean, as much as I'd love that, we don't have the cash to buy it. I'll just go to the boss straight away. Should be able to take it. I think that won't be too difficult. What else is happening? Oh yeah, um, on the twenty fourth and twenty fifth, they'll be doing. A, I'll be doing a twenty four hour stream to celebrate two years of streaming. Pretty excited about that. We'll do a few giveaways and stuff. Miss Quee will be on on stream. Do a Quee crypto coin. I mean, stranger things have happened, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like crypto. It's, uh, it's a very confusing thing. People that talk about the blockchain TM, um, I don't know, I just get this vibe off them. Doesn't matter who it is. It feels like used car sales salespeople, you know, and, and the whole, uh, NFT thing, it was the same. Like, Miss Queeve starts talking about NFTs, and I'm like, no, we're not, we're not doing that. Um, we did try to do a little bit of Ethereum back in the day. Um, I might even still have that sitting in a wallet somewhere, but it's, it's too volatile. It's more volatile than any other stock market type thing, right? lightning in a bottle earth throw okay nice uh, yeah I'll go in here as well it's probably not worth most of the times it's not, but when it is, pretty sick, man. Yeah, that wasn't. It's okay. Gee, we're doing really well. Maybe I'll buy a bomb. Uh, 
and no easy way to tell where the secret rooms will be. Shame. Yesterday was kind of crazy. Yeah, some of the runs were wild. Like we've we've got the goods here, like the damage up, significant damage up at that, combined with uh, additional shots, and then the uh, the kind of collateral damage that Jacob's ladder causes. Um, it's good stuff. And we can't get that. Okay, keep going. Legit interested in all of these rooms. Um, until I have coins on the floor, we're not going anywhere near that curse room, though. Key doesn't help me, does it? No, we need bombs. I need three bombs at least. That's not including secret room and top secret room. Sacrifice room. Might be able to get a play there. Now we're getting all keys. Wonderful. Love it. That's a shame. If Bumbo stopped paying out when... Like, after he was max level, I'd consider him more often, but I can't do it at, at that point. Seven cent ladder. Oh, I've got Perthro. Perthro. Fuck. Gives us five bombs. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll drop it at uh, at the earliest possible convenience as well. Let's do a quick check here. Nice. Okay. I'm thinking about the ladder, actually. We got some plays here. Let's do the uh, challenge room first. Love it. Sacrifice room now? 
haven't even fully explored. That would probably be smart, but I think we're okay here. Wouldn't hurt to get, uh, lovely. Wouldn't hurt at all to get the, uh, the, the mega stand key. And if we can get that 30 coins again from sack room, yeah. Problem with this, this room is that there's not much, like this sucks. Not much room to fight here. Uh. Give me a teleport to the angel room next. Yeah, I think that's a mistake, fighting him in that room. Oh my god. Well, now we don't need to worry. Um, we'll come back for that. Is that all? Wait. Did I go through all my coins? Shit, I might have. Yeah, I did. Okay. Blew up the guy already, right? I think I did, yeah. We got a heal, why? How did we get a heal? That little fucker, he's killed me before. I think it's extremely rare for him to show up in the hands that pop up, but when he does, he can throw the uh, homing orbs at you. That's bad news. Yeah, all right, and let's go for this too. That one's on me. Uh, yeah, we found out yesterday this is very good. Takes a little bit to get started. You need a few upgrades, but very good start. Plus, it's one of those items that you can't not take. I keep saying that. Soy milk is just fun. I don't think there's many items that change the game as dramatically as something like a soy milk. But no, with the triple shot, um, I think it's actually better than 
even having the damage, it just works really well. Knockback helps, of course, a little bit. And then there's the tier rate, of course. Don't you dare. Oh, shit. I've had rock bottom. I think... No, have I had rock bottom? No. I think that's one item I haven't. Um, but I know I know what it does, yeah. Be kind of cool. You can go all in on, like, negative everything. At least that, that changes, huh? Fuck me, I'm gonna have to take another quick break. Oh! It better not be another kidney stone, I swear. I'm dead. Fuck. Give me a sec, guys. I'm sorry. It is a really fun game. You would probably enjoy it. I'll be right back. Because apparently I am now entertaining you again. Hi, it's me. It's Ms. Queeb. Howdy, howdy. 
how art thou? Um, so preemptively, hi, um, there's a lot of noise going on out here. I'm in the middle of finishing up dinner and making the TikTok pasta. I've got the sauces. I'm almost done. I'm about to put on the, uh, what are we having tonight? Three cheese tortellini. It's just one of those like refrigerator tortellinis where it, it takes longer to boil the water than it does to actually like boil the noodles. Yeah, so we're gonna do that tonight. But Queeb will not be allowed to have much more than a couple of bites because of bathroom issues, which is totally fine. Oh, you're worried? That's so nice of you. Yeah, he's... Here's what it is. My husband is lactose intolerant. He's lactose intolerant. He does not need to eat anything with lactose in it. And yet he does because he enjoys the taste. That's what it comes down to. And he is fine. He's probably a little lonely in the bathroom. Um, but we haven't handled out here, so we're good. I'm making the noodles. Mr. Loaf Loafington of Loafington Insurance, where 97% of all the agents, uh, all the uh, claims are caused by the insurance agent, is staring at me. He should be going to sleep any moment now. Um, he's kind of having a day. Like I said before, there's something in the air. We're all kind of going through some shit. So it's totally fine. Lactose intolerant, but in love with my... <laughs> I'm... I'm a l I think I'm lactose intolerant. I think... Here's what I think the problem is. I don't have a lot of dairy in my diet whenever... Um, I've, I've lost a bulk of weight a few times in my life, and the last time that I did, I cut dairy out. Like, I used to have, like, cheese slices in my fridge, and... Like, I, I would eat those, and like, I was putting cheese on everything, and I would drink like big, huge things of chocolate milk every day, and it just felt gross. Like, my my skin looked awful, I felt awful, and I cut dairy out, and it fixed a lot of the problems I was having. I just haven't reintegrated it. Like, tonight, yes, lactose sensitive. Um, like tonight, the, the pasta I'm making, it, it's basically cherry and grape tomatoes with, um, with feta cheese in it. And then whenever it comes out, normally what I do is I sprinkle mozzarella on top and I put it back in under the broiler so it gets all nice and bubbly. Because he's having sensitivity issues right now, I would probably not be doing that and I'll just stick with the feta. Yeah. But this will this will probably be the only time I eat cheese, like this week, maybe. Yeah, you know, I I think I think life is about like finding finding the fuckery that you'll deal with. Um, this is a bell. This is not fuckery for you. This is a TT bell. We we hit this when we go TT. Yes, you're not going TT, so we can't touch the bell. But good job. He started to like walk off with the with the bell. Like, go, oh, I'm taking this. You cannot take that. Yeah, that's what we're using to potty train your ways. There you go. Can you please go? Yes? You're very cute. He, um, just had a nice humping sesh on my couch. My couch is pregnant. Um, yeah. Wasn't expecting to have a boy that would hump everything, but here we are. It's a trip. Like, when I mentioned, even before we had him, I mentioned that I wanted a, a boy dog because I had two female dogs, very powerful um, personalities. I wanted a little boy that could kind of, he wasn't as aggressive as Emma, he wasn't as laid back as Zoe, but he would play with them equally and he was kind of submissive. He is not submissive at all um and then people would say no 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 you don't want a boy they pee on everything and he doesn't pee on everything 
He pees in a few particular spots, but it's not everything. Nobody warned me about the constant humping because the whole time I've had dogs, I've never had like a boy dog hump everything. <laughs> oh, that sounds so perfect, just Blaze. I do miss. So before Queeb and I got together, I had Zoe and I had Emma and uh, I got Zoe when she was seven weeks old and we met Queeb when Zoe was six months old. Yeah. But for the first six months, I had, I had a full size bed. And it was me and a 30 pound pit bull mix. And uh, she was like, she got to like 50 or 60 pounds by, by the end of it. But a essentially a tiny loaf in bed with me. And it was seriously the most magical time. Because it was just like, it, it was chill vibes, man. It was just chill vibes. When mom turns off the light and turns the bathroom light on it means it's bedtime oh this is fucking sick man let's lay down let's go night night with mom and it was just chill and uh, loaf loaf is anything but chill like he's he's very sleepy boy tired boy sweet loaf whenever he uh whenever he first wakes up and that's it. That is, that is it. It doesn't happen at any other time. Like now he's, he's occupied with something. Um, I give him jobs. Like I'll give him like a piece of cardboard or something. I mean, he's an insurance agent. He needs work to do. So I give him paperwork. <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll shred the cardboard and it, it keeps him out of my hair and it, it keeps him busy because he just wants to be in everything that that is his life's work i'm regretting not sauteing onions for my pasta hmm. i don't want to add more cheese i'll turn the oven off No, no. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. It's way too hot. Zealousy! Hello, my love. How are you? I have missed you so much. Boy cats pee on everything but my dogs and Leo. <laughs> I was, I once had a boy cat and I don't recall if he peed on everything or not, but I all I know is that it it wasn't like a primary issue. Like, it's not something I remember when I'm looking back, like, oh my god, he peed on everything. Like, I don't remember. I can cuddle with a chunky dog as tall as me, then floofy on my feet. Oh my god. Yeah, Zoe... So Emma would sleep, like, between my legs or right next to my head, and then Zoe, she sleeps down, like, one whole side. And it was just, it was nice. It was just nice because I could get the room as cold as humanly possible. And then all three of us are like under the blanket and they're fine. Like they don't, they wouldn't move at all. And then Queeb, he, he gets so cold so fast. It's like living with a little heater. Just came home from, oh, that's awesome. I, I miss that. I miss living in a neighborhood where I felt safe enough to walk. Like, I, I totally miss that. Uh, we're just kind of stuck with like a little, a tiny little backyard situation. Um, sir, what is thou doing? Papa, what are you doing? Look at this. You, you're not doing your job. I need you to do your job so I can make some food for me and Diddy. Come on. It is so hot here in the house. Like inside the house it is 84. Let's see what it is outside. 
outside it is 67. Fuck my eye. They spray it like a skunk and... <sighs> you know what? Like... Eh. I think I've... I've cleaned up enough pee and poop to where, like, like it, it doesn't bother me. It's like, oh, okay. Um, there's only been a few times where I've just been... I have personally just felt off or what has come out has been just so revolting that I was just like, oh, like, um, like, oh, like a week ago, I found Loaf's uh, private pea stash that he's been harvesting for me. Apparently it was very delightful. Um, the insides of my nostrils smelled like that for a few days. So that was cool. Don't know if our neighborhood is the safest. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm only 5'6", and Queeb isn't going to walk with me, so I'm, I'm just kind of stuck. Um, I would say, hey, I would take my, my, my two bull, my, my two pit bulls with me, and I would be safe. However, um, I kind of live in a neighborhood where there's potential dog rings. And I don't want my dogs to uh, be involved in that. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to suck. But in our last apartment, we were... Uh, no, no, no. This is a puppy pad. It's down, so you do not pee. Open. Open. Drop. Good boy. Good boy, Jessica. Boy, can you come over here? Just look at that. Go, please. Leave me the fuck alone. Um, we lived close to downtown in a tiny, tiny... Like, under my chin and at my temple simultaneously, please. Hi, can I have this? Oh... But yes, anyway, we lived close to downtown, a very tiny apartment, teeny, teeny, no airflow at all. We have one window and I miss it because Queeb and I would, eh, it, it wasn't that much. It, was, it probably equaled out to maybe like a couple of times a month, maybe we would walk around the neighborhood and it was just, it was nice. But then again, that is, that was a walkable neighborhood. Like, our grocery store was around the corner. Sir, you are fixing to go to bed because you are crazy right now. I might just take the hit. Do you want to go to bed? Yeah? Okay, come here. Oh. Oh, my God. Say goodnight to ch chat. Can you say goodnight to chat? Can you say goodnight to chat? They love you very much. You are their bread lord and toast savior. Can you say goodnight to chat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they appreciate that. They love you too. Good night. Have fun. Sayonara. Okay. Let's turn the TV off. Hopefully, we will be done with that. He he will literally play until you tell him no. He will absolutely play it. Like he's constantly on and on and on and on. He just does not give a shit. And it is exhausting. He hasn't had any more incidents where he has jumped or attempted to jump into the oven. For those of you that are new, that was the thing we went through. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to cut open the pasta. So that was the thing. He has not done that. But you can tell, like, by looking at him that he's like, hmm, maybe. Reduce heat and boil gently for seven minutes. Let's set the timer. Seven goddamn minutes. 
Seven. Okay. Dad is visiting. He, he's going on a bathroom adventure, sweetie. Your father will see you soon. He's on a bathroom adventure. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he'll be back soon. He had me jump back on to entertain you guys so you weren't lonely. Which is fine. I like talking to you guys anyway. Well, talking at you since this isn't a two-way conversation, kind of. Okay, so we've got pasta noodles done doing, and pasta sauce is done. So let's pull that. This kitchen is so fucking small, man. If I smoked anything other than cigarettes, I would say I could use a smoke. However, I do not, and therefore I cannot. Oh, yay, we're celebrating uh, July 15th. Happy July 15th, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's let's set off those fireworks. Oh, yeah. Happy July 15th. Yay. Oh, I hate LA County. I fucking hate it. You're okay, Bubba. Oh. Hot, hot, hot. All right, garlic is done. We've roasted a little bit of garlic in some foil. Because why the fuck not? Uh, I can hear myself talking. It's so fucking annoying. Jesus, how can you people stand me? And... Forgive pauses. I'm having to frequently chime back into my phone. It's the 17th or 6th. Eh. For me, it, it's like February. So... You're not wrong. Oh, I need uh, smushy garlic. Yeah, I was gonna do some bread, but um, I'm too fucking hot. Like I'm standing in my kitchen, sweating. So we're not gonna do that. We do need our masher <clears throat> if you're curious this recipe it is the tiktok pasta it's in the food discord there are photos because people have asked for the recipe before it's super easy i didn't invent it at all I kind of co-opted it a little bit to work for me and Queeb. I would say the only thing that I, yeah, I didn't do any shallots or onions or anything like that. And instead of uh, sauteing some garlic, I just did like a tiny little squirt of uh, garlic mince. It works, whatever. So that's almost done. We're not putting extra cheese in because we're being mindful of Queeb's tummy. As you do. For those of you just tuning in, hi, hello, my name is Ms. Queeb. I'm married to Ms. Queeb. I'm babysitting chat for just a few minutes. You should be back anytime now. Um, you can follow me at uh, MZQUEEB as in boy. It's me. I just said hi in chat. I do not stream currently. I will be streaming imminently, not anytime in the next couple of days. But if you give me a follow, that would be great. Uh, primary focus probably won't be gaming. It would be talking, having a chat, like strictly in the just chatting category. And uh, 
and then playing games or cooking a meal or being crafty. I mean, Halloween is only 160 some odd days away. We need to make some Halloween stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll be doing that. You need to open this garlic. Fingers crossed I didn't fuck this up. That might not be fun enough. It absorbed. <clears throat> it absorbed all of the oil, which is good. Need a baby bag. Oh, loaf is pissed right now. He's like, Mom, I can hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just sitting chop. With all the noise, we are dissecting a garlic. Yeah, I'm just getting there. We might have to put it back in for a little bit. But you know what? Can't do it. You can't, can't be bothered. Okay. No hot, no, absolutely no hot tub streams. Well, if by um, if by hot tub stream you uh, um, you mean like the little kitty pool outside and loaf is in is in his life jacket in his, in his little kitty pool, then yes, we will absolutely be doing that stream. Yeah, none of that. Whenever I told Queeb, or rather, I sent him a photo of the um of the the baby pool it's like one of those plastic pools that they have at like walmart for six seven bucks of course he's like oh i can i can use that no you can't that's for babies it's not it's not for you that's very cute though okay so far pasta noodles are okay this isn't my favorite variety, but we're going with it. You know why? Except we can't be bothered. Yeah. Needles in. If I had good light, I would show you guys. And I don't. So be thankful. You can just stare at a chair. Oh yeah, that's super good. I'm thinking Queeb should be okay to eat at least a little bit of this. I would prefer he eat this than uh, his usual dinner of snacks, like pretzels and whatever. That would make me happy, but you know, we get what we get. That is done. That is done. That goes in the trash. I wish I could stick around. V, thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate seeing you. Come back soon, okay? Okay, shoes off. Make a bowl before I walk to the back. I will talk to you guys a little bit more. I will not be lowering my voice, which would be nice. Plastic fork, make sure we don't eat with that all. Walk to the back. Hold on, got everything. Everything, okay. 
need to turn off the oven light, turn on the fan, shut the door so the baby can sleep. I'm missing a dog. Oh, there you are. Hi. Okay. We're back in the the enclave. While I'm up, let me go check on snakes, and then we will chat. <gasps> oh, that is a fat ass. Okay, I have to take a picture. You guys aren't gonna believe me. Huxy just had his ass just right up against the. The glass, which, to be fair, that's where it should be. I can't even focus. Oh, he's a cutie. Hi. Can we go see people? Hi. Your public awaits you. Hi. How are you? Oh, he's so handsome. Can I have kisses? Hey, come in. We'll go see chat. Want to go see chat? Yeah. No. What's your sister doing? Oh. Okay. We we got two snakes. I got two snakes, and that's it. Come in. You come in. Uh, apparently, have an aunt, so that's cool. What are you doing? Huxley Amadeus McQueebington. Do you want to go see everybody? I'm just going to shove him in front of the camera if you want to get a look. Oh, he's got the other one turned on. Huxley! Huxley! He's a baby! He's a baby of my life! Hey, Bobo. Oh yeah, he is like, Mom, I love you, I will tolerate the singing, but I need to eat. So they will definitely be eating tonight. I think I have... four rats left? And he'll have two, and she will have one, so we don't have to make two. Okay, let's see. Piper! Hi, how are you, my love? Meister, uh... A vocal stream, yes. But yeah, I'm just babysitting chat. He should be back imminently. Just Blaze, uh, Huxley's my snake. He is a GHI lesser yellow belly. He is my soulmate and the love of my life. He is my first husband. Queed completely understands that, um, that he is number two. You know what? It's 82 degrees in my house right now, Hyper. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's just so fucking hot in the house. Papa? What should you mean? Hi. Yeah, I know. Dad didn't turn on the right camera, so I can't get up in there and show you off. But it's fine. You can see chat in a little bit, okay? He is just all over the place right now. Am not, baby! I do like that baby emote. Oh, hi. Hello, handsome. Ugh. And sticky and gross. Let's put him up. Faith went back in her tank. You guys will, you'll get to see her too. 
since you're not going to get to see them for about a week or so. Hi. Hi, dude. How you doing? You're getting a sister. Well, you're getting a girlfriend in a couple days. You excited? You're getting a sister girlfriend. You're getting a sister girlfriend. She's going to be your sister, but also your girlfriend. And your baby mama. You're going to give me babies one day? Yes. Oh my God. If I had little baby Huxleys, I wouldn't sell any of them. I would keep every single one. I, I would keep every single one. I totally would. And that's why we're not snake breeders, because I would keep all of them. My, uh, my best friend, she got her first snake right after I got Huxy. And, uh, she now has like six? Six snakes? Yeah, and, um, a couple of hers are similar to what mine are. And so it, it's been fun trying to figure out like what what we would do if we did breed them because she's in uh, the Midwest and I'm on the West Coast. I had a sister girlfriend once. <laughs> I know it's so gross, right? Well, so I got, I got Huxy because he's Huxy, he's my, he's my baby. And then we got Faye a few weeks later. And the goal, but well, the, what we were going to do is we were going to breed Faye and Huxy. He is obsessed with her. Every time he's like, they used to be in the, in the snake pit together, this little playpen that we have set up with some enrichment. And he was just constantly going towards her like, Faye, you're beautiful. And she does not give a shit about him. She does not like him. Uh, well, she doesn't like anybody. So it's not isolated to just his existence. Um, but she, uh, she, she prob probably doesn't want to have anything to do with him or, ma or to make babies, which is fine. Like having snake children, is like a a 0.025% chance of that actually happening. Um, I think that's a lot more education that, that I want to put forth right now since I, I've spent the last 10 years studying these things. I think I'm kind of tapped out right now. Um, but after we lost Teddy, we talked about it. We decided that we, we did need to get another, we've always wanted to get more snakes. And in fact, we were going to get more, but then Teddy was just so sick that it didn't seem fair to get other animals and have to um, have them uh, be neglected because of all the, the care Teddy needed with his medical issues. But um, after he passed, we we gave it a while and we're like, okay, well, for us to move on, we do need to get a, uh, we do need to get another snake. Uh, Kui picked it out. It's a little girl. I'm going to get her on Sunday while Kui stays home and babysits with the children. And um, yeah, you guys will at least get some video of her. And then she's going into quarantine. We're actually going to set up her quarantine. Let me... What? Oh, you, you guys can't see it. So, you know, when he has the wide, the, the side shot on where the green screen is on the right and his monitors are on the left. And then there's that blank desk space on the, on the side of the back wall. Her enclosure is going to go there. So she's going to be in a tub for a couple of weeks for quarantine and then she will actually get an actual tank set up so that's where she will live and you guys will probably get a snake cam for at least a little bit yeah <laughs> like that we we get three or four kinds of questions we get what's under the hat what does your last name mean can we see ms Queeb? and can we get a snake cam and it's usually those questions rotating over and over again. So at least this way we can knock one of them uh, off, which would be super nice. Hello, Queeblet. 
Oh my god, yeah. thank you so much, folks. Thank you, Miss Queeb. It's not a problem. God damn it. If I need to go again, I'll just end stream. Sorry for keeping you all here. I know this is really weird. Um, but I'm, I'm alright. We'll see. Ah, uh, yeah, there's only a, there's only one or two people that have seen... Oh, I'm getting feedback. Oh, because you're in the room, right? Okay, let's try that again. Keeper, you are giving me a headache, son. Um, is that Hyper Stifer? Is he in the room? How are you, my dude? It's great to see you. Oh, interesting. Um... Chatting with my lady. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's uh, she's awesome. Yeah, there's a few people that have seen under the hat, and that's totally cool. Um, let's just start that again. We'll go for uh, ultimate item start. Oh, concussive tears. And a damage up. Yeah, okay, we'll take that. The damage up numbers are actually pretty... a little bit wrong. Good item, though. Alright, so all I'm... all I'm really looking to do here, if... if we're lucky, is to beat Isaac. Anything else would be nice. Um, I shouldn't really go after the angels although i do want that as well we do need quite a build to even fight them mm. not feeling it Any kind of uh, tier delay reduction or tier increase um, or tier rate rather uh, would be much appreciated. That's our biggest problem is how slow we walk and shoot. GB bug. Oops. Library? All right, worth a shot. See what's in the item room, I guess. Hmm. For each enemy killed in the current room, maximum plus five damage up after ten kills. And a quality which we probably won't ever use. It's fine. Well, we get one coin, the quality's active. Mm, I would rather use the key over here, though. Necronomicon and potentially death. Works quite well with uh, with our other item, actually. God, what a weird night. I'm in a great mood. But then I've had to, like... Delay stream several times. Streaming life. I guess I am human after all, huh? Oh, by the way, for those that haven't seen it at uh, youtube.com slash McQueeb, you will find Ms. Queeb and my co-op stream. The one that... Uh, I've been promising I would upload for weeks and weeks and weeks now. That is now live.
The IG reels? Yeah, yeah. I, I only put a few up there. I, I'm not really interested in Instagram. Just the fact that it's a Facebook company and that... Um, seriously, though, you should jump on TikTok. I don't know if I haven't said that enough to you, but TikTok is far superior to reels, in my opinion. It is. I think so. Yeah, we'll do that. You don't like reels, you just like my content? Aww. <laughs> it's very nice. Play this down here a couple of times, see if we get lucky. Do I sound okay? Yeah, why not? Okay. No, I'm just checking. I can't hear me, so I can't check. Oh, right. I got you. <clears throat> Um, I don't like reels, but I got um, several thousand views on the few reels that I have done of uh, of Loaf, which that you know it's kind of cool considering I only have like twenty followers mm -hmm. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean I know that they're pushing reels big time. But out of ah no, I mean they. I did get a lot of comments, but I don't. I think I've only gotten like a few um, followers from them. Right. Which is fine. Whatever. Hi, Masa. How are you? What's up, Masa? How you doing? Speaking of streaming life, I have a random stream question. Do you have a backup line as a streamer? No, I don't. I'd like one, though. What is that? Internet line. Another, oh. like, straight up, just another, oh. uh... No. No. My, my whole system, actually, I'm talking about power and UPS systems, keeping the internet up if the power goes down, all of that, I, I would like to replan. Mm-hmm. Financial investment, though. Yeah, for the um, after we move, we do have um, we have plans to make like a really good setup for Queeb. Um, he's been really excited about it. We just we're limited here. Um, I mean, just. <laughs> It, it, it's just it's a it's just a bunch of stuff like we're not in a lease so we we can technically be given a notice at any time that probably won't happen but it could um we we asked about having the electrical fix and he's like yeah if you want to pay for it 600 bucks you can do it but i'm not paying for it so that was cool um there's no AC, so we're having to use two different portable air conditioners. Um, limited space. It's a tile floor throughout the house, so everything echoes unless you have like a bunch of soft things in the rooms, and even then it doesn't work. So it's just, might as well just wait until we move somewhere where we have more space, we have more room, and yeah. then do it properly. For the Queebs, have either of you lived in a manufactured home? Yeah, I, I grew up in a mobile home. Uh, both a single wide and a double wide. I have not. Like, I've lived in some that were really, really shitty, and then uh, we lived in a single wide that was actually, well, my knowledge is 30 years old because this was like back when I was like 10 or whatever. Um, the single wide was, was pretty nice. I mean, it looked like a single wide. It wasn't the kind, like nowadays you get a mobile home and they make it look like it's an actual house. It's still a mobile home. Um, these actually looked like mobile homes. My partner and I can get a brand new one. Dude. Me, personally, I would say go for it. Especially if you have, like, the right bit of land for it. Personally, I... 
because based on my past, my family's past, I don't think I would ever live in another park. Um, my aunt, she actually, uh, she moved her mobile home onto like 30 acres and added on and built it out and it, it was great, it was fantastic. The only problem was that the, f the front room was kind of uh, echoey. Like it, it, it didn't feel, um, it, it, this sounds weird, like it felt hollow. Like it just felt very cavernous and, and it, it, it never got like this homey feel. I would say if you find like a good deal and you're not going into severe debt over it and you have land, I would say go for it. I, the only reason I would say that I personally would not do a mobile home park is just because... Is that what a manufactured home is? I don't understand the difference. Yeah, so it's the same thing. Um, some people like to argue a manufactured home is a lot nicer and it looks more like a home, but they're all mobile. Like the whole definition of a mobile home is a home that you can pick up and move from one place to another. Right. Um, so back here, I'm going to say it. Back in my day. That's the fifth time I've said it today. You could, you could say something like slightly different. Like I could, but I'm not going to. When I was I know, 16, dot, dot, I know dot. that it annoys you, so I'm going to keep doing it. Fair, fair. Yeah, yeah I, I, I get so. it. Cool. Um, the only like, I guess like the word I would use would be like finishing of it was that they would put like a skirt around the bottom to kind of cap it in and then add like a porch. And that was it. Um, and if you had a big enough plot, obviously like an above ground pool or whatever. Nowadays, what they'll do is they actually, instead of using um, aluminum siding to cap in the underside to look like a skirt, they'll like brick it in and it it looks like it's an actual, like a, I don't want to say real house, but it looks like it is, is a house built on that site. Mm. Um, you're able to... Uh, because it, it's built off-site, you are able to save a lot of money that way. The finishes inside, like anything from the floors to the cabinets, if you do carpet, the um, window, like literally every little bit of it you can design. Uh, there are companies that will make them ahead of time, like it sounds like what Zealousy found, and you can just grab one. But there are companies where you can have you basically buy a shell and you uh you supply you pick out the finishes and then once they've built it then they move it onto your land or the lot that you're renting and they set it up do they insulate manufactured homes now if you have land you might look into a modular home it's my understanding uh, Nekoris, 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 please let me know which way is correct. It's my understanding that they do. Um, however, my knowledge is from the south. I don't know what they do out here on uh, West Coast. Masa says they do. Okay. So, a while back... Some of you have heard the story. I won't go into it again. Um, I was supposed to get land from my father as long as it like stayed in my family. And so I thought about getting a couple of those. Um, this was like back when like shipping container houses were starting to become big. And I was going to either set up a couple of shipping containers on the land or build a tiny house. Like, I, I was seriously looking into that. And then, you know, I got married and I never got the land, so whatever. When you say you have big plans in regards to moving, I assume it's setting things up so they're optimized for the stream. It must be a plus if you're already broadcasting, changing locations, and have a better idea in relation to what what could make things all the nicer, more plugs, better soundproofing, etc. So... Right now, we're we're only looking at like a specific area. 
like either either staying here if if Queeb decides to um, if he ends up getting a job out here or we move to a different part of the country once we actually nail down what area we'll be staying in um, I am looking at uh, at places that are a little bit nicer in terms of uh, I mean, maybe not like size-wise, but just laid out differently. I'm sick of paying 2,200 in rent. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's cheap for LA, sadly. Uh, but also, we're extremely limited on what we can do just because we share this a lot with the other tenants, um, and we also, you know, because we we don't have any. We don't have a lease. Our our landlord doesn't doesn't see why he should do certain things or whatever. Um, we are going to work on talking to. Uh, well, at least I'll work on finding a place where we're able to add to it and make it better with and having that written into the the lease, as opposed to uh, just picking wherever and just signing whatever without negotiating. Which is that's what we've done both times because we just we wanted a place and we just needed to move immediately yeah. um for soundproofing he actually started to soundproof this room a bit um uh, like oh he no, has a... no 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 not even close no mm -mm. the little the the corner things no they're, they're base traps i mean you're talking about the most basic sound upgrade you can do no it, I, I haven't even begun really but you did it According to Queeb, he hasn't done anything to soundproof it. I think he has. We have boxes of panels in the other room that haven't been set up. We had others set up, or others ready to go, and we, we never did them. Essentially, once we realized we weren't staying here forever, we kind of canceled all of our plans to do anything. Brother lives in a nice wine, lives in a couple of containers he made into a home, saving a fortune, saved a fortune doing it apparently. Like two to three containers. Some of them are gorgeous. Um, I don't think that I would ever do something like that as my permanent home, just because I'm, you know, I think I need a house, but building out a studio or something um, with containers, I, I would probably definitely be into that. Oh, you can tradition. make you can make cool stuff with those. I've seen some really nice mm -hmm. ones. I mean, yeah, they do look like looks like a Lego house, right? But yeah, I mean, it's still cool. Um, one of the reasons why I was thinking about doing the container home, the shipping container thing on my father's land, is because I I found it was like i think it was like a youtube video or something where someone had made a a two story out of two shipping containers and uh part i want to say at least one wall on the top was completely glass with like a patio and my father's land it butts up it, he lives in deep south it butts up against a swamp well, not butts up, but it's probably like, you know, an acre or two away from a swamp. And it's it's pretty, it's ambient, it rains constantly there, and like I had this vision of like, I would definitely not do a, a, a patio on ground level, that's for damn sure. Uh, I wouldn't want an alligator walking up in my place, but uh, like building a porch on the second story looking out onto the swamp tin roof got the rain coming down you have like the little ambient rain noises like i was like all about it it was like i i was into the idea understood there are... oh let me go um, stick houses are fine but if you can get in some nice home oh definitely uh no chorus absolutely um i'm not sure well Queeb and I haven't talked about buying a house yet. I don't think that's something that he is interested in doing. Um, I'd, I'd love to buy one. Um, 
so we haven't had like the talk about like what what we would particular or what we would respectively want in a home but um but yeah like i've spent fucking <sighs> years looking on pinterest it has to amount to that much just looking at like all of the different housing options and just I would love to have the kind of money where I could just buy land and just be like, you know what? What's this tiny house shit about? And just buy a tiny house, like like have one built and set up. Or, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of living in a tiny house. Let me sell my tiny house and hmm. I'll uh, I think I'll I'll I'll, I'll build a, a shipping container. Like like having the kind of disposable income and just doing whatever the fuck I wanted. That'd be nice. Disposable income. <laughs> yes. Well, with that attitude, so there's parts of the country you're looking at statewide for potential spots to live in. No, um, looking in uh, Pacific Northwest. That that um, it also happens to be extremely trendy right now, which I wasn't really counting on, but that's fine. Uh, it's it's funny because. The reason I wanted to move up there, I'm, if you didn't know, I'm from Dallas. And it's just hot. It's oven hot. Right? But every place has air conditioning. And you, you know, you're fine. And then we lived in Florida for a bit. And it, not only was it hot, it was fucking humid. Like, sticky, thick air. And when it wasn't hot, it was raining. And then we moved to California. Southern California and it's the weather it's for half the year it's not bad I personally think it is a little hot I'm I need it to be a, a little bit cooler and uh, we have heat waves that are just abysmal plus most places out here don't have air conditioning our first place did thankfully but uh, this one does not uh, there are other places like um I think the back unit has an air conditioning and a couple of the other units, but ours doesn't for whatever reason. But it is outfitted for it though. Um, so I picked, I was like, oh, Oregon, like West Oregon would be kind of nice and finding a place out in the woods and, you know, find a couple of acres and maybe it's an older house, but they've got room to stretch out and maybe it's a cool landlord and and they don't care what we do to the property as long as we we keep it up and you know had all these like grand plans i'm like yeah i don't have air conditioning whatever and then uh heat wave in portland for the last few weeks so that's cool <laughs> um because apparently most houses in portland don't have air conditioning so i'm like great i'm just i'm cursed to live in the heat wherever i go it's, I'm not like it's disgusting where we are right now, and it's not even the worst in the country. Not even, not even remotely close to that. Yeah, like it's today. It got up to like 75, which outside that is fine. But when it's it, it's literally 80, 80 to 85 in the house at any given time. Um, at least in the front of the house, we can open the front door, but in the bedrooms, we can't open the windows. Um, and we're just kind of you know stuck. Uh, but yeah, I would like to move to that part of the country. A friend of mine is, is trying desperately to get me to move to her area in Idaho. And I'm like, I don't know. I like being, I like being on the West Coast. I, I think Idaho might be a... They're, they're trying desperately to get us there? Yeah, Courtney is. Um, Do they want to pay the rent? No. Oh, it mustn't Stop. be that desperate. <sighs> yeah, she's like, no, 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 it's, it's nice, and and it's like, yeah, but I like if if anything, if I if I was not a West Coast girl, I would be either a Montana girl or a Boston girl. We've spoken about this. If you were a Boston girl, you'd have to drink coffee. <laughs> and because I don't drink coffee. I, I can't live in Boston. Mm -mm. Um, but yeah, like uh, Montana seems like it would be just just like land. 
I'm not down with the snow. I have, again, I'm from Texas. I've only seen at most like, the only time it's ever snowed in my area, it actually snowed me in my house without electricity for three days. And it it wasn't it wasn't a great experience. I gotta tell you. Um, but yeah, like I would I would say West Oregon, uh, Washington, Washington in theory, but it's even though there's no state tax, it's incredibly expensive there. It's it's as bad as it is here, and uh, or Montana, which I think that would just be you know just tons of land. There's nothing fucking out there. But, you know, when the revolution happens, <laughs> we'll be surrounded by Republicans. <laughs> so I guess we would be okay with all of those guns. Got sound deadening with foam panels, good for recording. Yeah, so he had a few of those. Oh, I'm sorry, my dog wants some of my pasta. Um, he had some of those, and we have some, like, they're like hexagonal panels or something. Um, yeah, just the shitty Elgato ones. Yeah. I bought those. I haven't even set them up yet. What I'll probably be doing in my office when we move is I will absolutely be... Um, so there's like a hack where you, you have canvases on the wall and then you just stack the canvas with, um, with insulation foam or um, sound dampening foam on the inside of it and then just like layer the floor with rugs. Um, but I'll, I'll definitely be doing something like that. Just like in this house, I wear headphones most, like literally most of the time. It annoys Queeb to, to the fullest extent, but it's because well, I the, can the hear The thing everything. is, every time I say anything to you, regardless of volume, you'll say, what? Every time. Because Every the site the site isn't directed at you asking a question. It's oh no, I get it. Me, mm -hmm. because I, I have an an auditory processing disorder. I'm doing my best. Uh oh, hold on, chat's moving a little bit. My wife and I just broke ground on a concrete dome house, hoping to start building. That sounds awesome, Nakoris. For real. Like, I've seen those, um, those Earth ships, and like, in theory, that seems like pretty badass. Um, I think I'm more of a traditional type girl. Like, I think I need a traditional type house, at least for a little bit, to help me get over my, you know, my own bullshit. Just blaze. Yeah, like Florida, um, it, it was ridiculous. At the time, I was on birth control that was on a patch, so you basically stick it on your arm, kind of like, like a, a nicotine patch, but it's for birth control. And it lowers your blood pressure pretty badly. So that combined with all of the storms, I was nauseous literally every day and I had to endure the are you pregnant kind of jokes and I wanted to like stab people in the face. I was just completely miserable. I was either wanting to peel my skin off or I wanted to throw up. That's not even getting into the like the type of people like that live there and visit there. It was just it was hellacious. I'm glad we went and we found out what it's like. Therefore, we never have to ask ourselves, what would Florida be like? Well, I mean, we could always like live like, you know, an hour or two away from Disney. We did that. Never again. Meister, hot. I live in AZ. Hottest day I experienced was 127. Hottest day ah, I did. 120. I, what? I think it was like 115. It's just in in areas like like Arizona and, and Texas and whatnot, they're built for heat for the most part. They have AC. It's expected that shit's going to happen. This whole current stuff going on with Texas where they're uh, they're warning people to hold back on, on their, their, you know, doing, you know, cooking meals and fucking uh, doing laundry to help prevent, like, blackouts. That's just, like, you know, 
that's a political move. That's what that is. Um, but back in the day, that's number six. That wasn't an issue. And so it was like, yeah, it was hot where when you went from your house to your car, from your car to wherever you're going. And in your car, you had AC. It was just literally just the, the trek from one place to another that was hot. And that was doable out here. <laughs> This, this place, like, it's, it's kind of like in the valley, um, which is like Burbank, Glendale, stuff like that. They're not built for rain. So none of the, well, a lot of the buildings, most of them, don't have flashing on the corners. So if there is damage at all to the corners of the buildings, you're going to get seepage into the house and you're going to get mold. And so many construction jobs go on in that area during the rainy season which is like january february because there there's damage rain gets in then it's a mold problem it's a whole thing they just don't think oh hey maybe we should fucking take care of this shit yes dallas is hot we're in that area I grew up here so i'm used to it. yeah like when when that's all you you know, then you you just kind of deal with it, you know. Masa, my cousin spent like two to four a piece on those containers. That sounds pretty cool. AC is a must, even just a window unit. We have two portable units, one in uh, the office, one in the bedroom. The problem is, is that with the shoddy electrical in this house, we can't run both at the same time and they only work for one room. There's no space in the front of the house to set one up. So it's it's just like, it's fuckery. It's fuckery, that's what it is. Snowmageddons are fun. Texas gets a decade for those snow all at once. I, I am very thankful that the blizzard happened while we weren't living there because we we talked about living in Austin for a while and um, yeah we talked about it and we didn't pull the trigger we just kind of held back and uh, I'm, I'm glad we never moved I want to move to Salem there's so much great history there I've just blaze queeb are your health coins mm -hmm. i want to move to salem so much history so i looked into this and i'm assuming you're talking about massachusetts and not oregon because i'm thinking about moving to salem oregon in uh, in salem mass looked into it i know a couple of people who live up there and and the later part of the year is just incredibly touristy. Throughout the rest of the year, it's touristy. And then it, it's like in addition to all of like the weather stuff. Uh, so my my plan last year, at the beginning of last year, is I wanted to go to, to Salem for Halloween during one of the full moons. Uh, because that year there were two full moons. There's one like in the, I think on the first and one on the 15th or one on the 15th, one on the 30th, whatever. I wanted to go and do the witchy thing and like hang out with my with my peeps and obviously that didn't happen because shit happened um yeah I I think I would go for like a week just to like check it out I know it's not going to be like picturesque inter Instagram quality but you know just to see what's what I think I don't think we're going to have a choice I think we're going to have to move wherever I get a job that simple. Yeah. Monkey, hello. Good evening. Ukrainian bell Ukrainian in a bell tower. Why would you want to live close to a Disney resort? So, in Florida, we lived about an hour away from Disney. I, we don't go to Disney. It just so happened we lived about an hour away from Disney, and that's from door to door, essentially, like including like all of the whatever. Out here. We live about an hour and a half away from Disneyland. Still haven't gone. Oh, 
Oh my god. It must be some kind of interference or battery or something that's causing that to shut down. I have no idea. So, Too Long Didn't Read got a set of Steel Series Arctis 7 headset. Had them plugged in for three days. I was on earlier, it dropped three times. I plugged them in, they were plugged in for about an hour. I've been back on these for what, maybe 30, 45 minutes. Same thing, it just dropped. It's, so there's no gotta be another going. reason there. Yeah, so whatever, it's fine. Um, yeah, so like, haven't been to Disney. We're about an hour and a half away. I think like an hour and a half at least is like a good amount of distance because you're not dealing with all the fuckery. And it's, it's close enough to where you can have those conversations with yourself. Like, do I want to go to Disney? Which I would like to go before we move because I know we're probably not going to come back. Speaking of cooking meals, how's your pasta? So I've had two bites because I've been talking to you guys and I don't like eating on the mic. Um, Zoe has had more than I have. She approves. It would probably upset Queeb's stomach just a little bit because it is a tiny bit cheesy. Take it easy, Hyper. Thanks for stopping in, dude. But super good. Um, yeah. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Look, is I'm feeling this man? This is fuck. Uh, what do I do outside of streaming? Uh, presently in IT. That may be changing very soon. Masa, I'm not sure if you're meaning to, but I'm seeing a couple of repeating messages. I just want to make sure you're okay on your end. Masa does that. If you don't answer him, he'll repeat it. It's a little bit annoying. Oh, I, I did respond. Hyper, if you're still in, thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a good night, sweetie. Of course, he, he messages while I'm taking a bite. <laughs> of course. Bite number three. Um, but yeah, for like a pasta that's been thrown together during, uh, in an 82 degree weather house with, um, with a, a bread loaf biting my ankles and a husband dealing with bathroom issues, just not bad. Wait, you know what? We do the best we can with what we got. It's been a very weird afternoon. Like I said before, I was in an, an amazing mood, but then... Uh, uh, it's very interesting how quickly um, your body can just say, you know what? No, fuck you today. Uh, yes, no, I'm. Um, I do IT outside of outside of this. Um, like I said, uh, things are changing real soon. I think I want to get back into the video game industry if uh, if I have that opportunity. Um, I may have a voiceover thing coming up soon. That'd be cool. That's something I'm definitely interested in doing. It'd be very cool. Callback went well, by the way. I don't know if I ever answered that. You did not. However, I, you and I, we operate very differently in that. Like. I assume no news is good news, like always. Um, I don't, and I don't invite trouble or bad thoughts or anything like that. So I assume that whenever you go on interviews and uh, voiceover auditions and whatever, I'm, I'm like, oh, now everything's gonna work out great. Question to be asked is not what McQuib is doing outside of streaming, but where did McQuib nickname come from? The real story. You don't have the money to pay for that information, I'm afraid. All I'll say is that there there is photographic evidence of the name. That's true. 
there is. And Queeb actually forgot about the evidence until I like I showed him. Yeah, that I did. Back during the the subathon, I think. Uh huh. No, no, it was before the subathon. Um. Because I was like, no, no, I know it's somewhere, and I literally went back through and I found it. Yeah, it's a cool story. I do. Uh, Masa says I do network IT. I'm getting out of it. Monkey says I do automation and security work. I think the kids call it DevOps. Lots of people in IT then. <laughs> IT was something that people tried to push me into just because I I don't have as much knowledge as you, but I have some and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, you'd be really good at it. It's like, I just don't know. Mm -mm, I don't want to deal with people. I, I mean, there's many, there's many aspects to it. Not all of it involves are. people. But it's also because I'm not educated, so I would have to get educated. I'm not educated. You know more than I do. I would have to Google everything. Welcome to IT. You've, you've passed your first test already. But that's not something where you can go into an interview and be like... I have literally said that in an interview before. You're not listening to me. It's cool that that's half of it. However, when you do not have a background in IT, it is much, 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 much harder to even get people to talk to you about that stuff. Believe me, I've tried going after jobs in that realm that I thought I could do, and I still, like, nothing. So, I get it. You have to Google. However, you have to get an interview first. Well, mm, okay, we can talk about that later, but I don't think that's related. Okay. Well, that's based on your experience. No, when I say that, I'm saying that you being able to land an interview is a, is a different topic. That's entirely independent, I think. Monkey is correct. IT does hate women. Like, it's cool that you guys are like, no, 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 no. And it's like, I get it. But my resume has nothing on it like that. My resume is marketing. And in addition, people having to deal with people. So thank you, but it's cool. runs yesterday were so good compared to this and I squandered them yesterday of course because that's just how I do and there's no key in here lovely I was thinking about transitioning from theater and teaching that would be super cool if our monkey The truth of the matter is that there is a big stigma 
in IT and women. Those two things. And many of us, most of us can sit here and say, oh yeah, yeah, you're like, like, all the women I've seen in IT, they've been like great. And oh my God, like you're smart enough. You could totally do it, but it doesn't come down to my expertise, my Google foo or anything like that. It comes down to the actual corporation that I'm trying to get hired at. Like some people, they see a female name and they're just done. Absolutely. I've heard horror stories from Queeb about trying to get a woman to uh, in for for interviews and like thinking that they're the better candidates and basically getting laughed at. Like, no, they're not. <laughs> Women don't know shit. They need to stay in the kitchen. Let's uh, let's change the topic. We can if you would like. What would you like to talk about? Anything except anything related to my current job and situation. Okay. Yeah, that's stuff I can't talk about. Alright, finally, golden key something. Oh, come on, man. It's actually not too horrible. Speed! Now we're moving. Okay. Okay. When do you stop rolling this? That's the question. Like... 0.61 down. Like, that was probably a bad... Ah, I don't know. It doesn't seem to roll health, unfortunately. I'm way too fast with a shot speed that's really slow. So yeah, we will, we will roll again. Oh, it feels awful. It's like I'm slingshotting my body all of a sudden. Ugh. Since I'm not coming back this way, I'm just going to collect all the cash. It's another busted run, maybe. We will see. Four bombs, though. I gotta do is beat Isaac. That should be my only goal at this point because you know, the amount of luck I've had with these runs is pretty awful. A lot of that's down to my the risks that I've been taking as well. Of course. Tier rate? Oh okay, 0.74. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. range to your height. Okay. If we can get a couple of keys, I'll do that. Oh yeah. We're slippery as hell. 
and we're shooting very slowly. That makes for an awful combination. Like, worse than even if... If we were very slow. Because you don't have the damage output or shot speed to facilitate actually killing stuff. Damage way down. Uh, range way up though. Oh, that's a bonus. Hey. Good. But my hat is cute. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Two cards, runes, or pills. Okay. I'll try it. Lovers, useless. Nah. Fashion Souls. There is a mod that you can get that uh, allows you to enable or disable the visual component of any pickup that you've previously taken. Um, so let's say you pick up, I don't know, what's a good example? You know, Ghost Tear is the one that turns your face, like, demonic and horrifying. You could turn that off, for example, if you did want to keep a cute chibi style. Come on. I need to earn. Sergeant Kenai, thank you so much, dude. Four months, my main. How's your night been, dude? Hope you're uh, enjoying your Friday. It is Friday, right? Pretty sure it's Friday. Is there anything cute in this game? Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty. You just, it's just, you need the right starting character and combination of items, that's all. I'm taking that for the tier rate up. But it's one third Seraphim, I suppose, and then on top of that, it's uh, uh, more flies. And did it say the Bible was more common as well? <gasps> no, you didn't. All right. Okay, here we go. That is a swallowed penny, which means now we might be able to go back here. shit <laughs> ashes of creation testing oh you were telling was that you telling me about that somebody was talking about that yesterday saying that um beta keys are going for like 500 bucks or something ridiculous to survive a little bit longer here. So far everything's looking pretty good, but yeah, that whole survivability factor not working out too well for us at the moment. If you really want access to help with testing, it's five hundred dollars a pack. Wait, where from? From the from the dev company? Fuck off! <laughs> That's ludicrous. If you want to help with testing, aka make the game better for the company, pay five hundred dollars for the privilege. That's insane.
people who kickstarted it for five hundred dollars. Oh, it's a Kickstarter game. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, still, it's a bit scummy, but uh, I guess if people are really into it, five hundred bucks. Hey, I paid for the founder's edition of Hellgate London, and um, I will never see that money ever, ever again. Mind you, that wasn't five hundred dollars. That was like two hundred. Gee, I'd love a coin game. Think you give me a coin? Nah. Nah. Where we're going, we don't need coins. You back Bloodstained? So did I, actually. Yep. That was a bit of a shit show, the way they handled that as well, like with the different packs and then DLCs and all the rest. But the game itself was good. It's worth it. Jeez, I hope I can not take damage here. Does this guy... Yeah, he does. Okay, never mind. Pretty good start. I wish we got a little bit more searching done. However, we're at full health. And I still have... Why am I even considering this? I don't know, because I'm silly and greedy. Started Subnautica the other night. Super cool, not what you expected. That's, uh, that's probably too scary for my liking, but... Uh, I've, I've watched speedruns of it, and I've watched other streamers sort of get involved with it. Oh, come on, really? Stupid game. Are you allowed to broadcast it, or is there an NDA? Slash uh, embargo. Speaking of embargo, I was given a game the other day. One second. What was that called? Where's my Steam account? Death's Door. Looks like a top down roguelike ish action adventure game um sometime early august we'll be able to show that one off they are giving away keys to streams torment how did you know that or are you questioning the name yeah it's another devolver title Honestly, you can't go wrong with that. Ah, oh, shit. One of my least favorite rooms requires all of my concentration. Shit. Oh, I hate it. Troll bomb for a reason. I've never seen Swallowed Penny not pay out from like six attempts. The game knows. The game knows that I need to do get this done. Yeah, we'll take that.
now if we can get some kind of bomb tear effect or uh, curse of the tower be kind of good. <laughs> That's okay, not as cute. Fair. No way. Let's go. No way. What do we got? I completely forgot that that was even a thing. out of it if I can okay Bams. I mean, that technically wasn't a ruined run. We might have been able to pull through. It's just, it's frustrating. Why would I intentionally, intentionally limit myself like that? this done. I swear I'm going to get it done. It's a decent orbital actually. horribly hot in here.
Curse of the Maze. That's alright, actually. Don't mind that. Glitter Bombs. Could be very beneficial for us. I don't remember Keeper being this difficult. And I've... I've done plenty with the Keeper, not on this save, clearly. Um, but I know I've beaten most of the bosses pre-repentance with him. Whenever I see it. Really? You're gonna do that again? Oh, fine. Whenever I see a library, I gotta go for it. Just on the off chance that you get super lucky there. Plus, there's a bunch of books that are reasonably decent to begin with. How does that work? You have to take damage and then you get a ring of tears. Could be good, you never know. Actually, 10 seconds of invulnerability, that might work for uh, blood donation machines. Or health donation machines. Interesting. Um, good item, like very defensive. However, we may not be able to hit targets because of it. If there's a lot of tears coming for us, um, we'll see. We'll see. It's a free item, I guess. And especially considering the first item wasn't amazing. If you have a better experience, let me know with that item. I don't even think I've had it before. That's good. Alright, we've still got some bombs here. been into the shop with with my three cents
Stonies are still super annoying. Top 10 most annoying enemies. Stonies would be up there for sure. Verp. Well, well, well. Oh, come on. I don't think I'll ever take that item again. Shield of Tears is really good for taking those guys out. I wonder how the seeds work, right? Like, it's obviously not predetermined what the items are going to be based on the seed, but... Oh, that's pretty dope. Okay. Um, like, it's generated according to some... We got a couple of verps. It's not really... Mm. Let's keep the other key for now before we go down. Am I dead? I'm not dead. That was lucky. Key still. Oh, is that another library? Wait, have we found the item room? We have. Alright, we'll go to the library instead. That should be bookworm at least. Hmm. Okay. Not angry about that. And I will keep how to jump. That might be able to get us into that far room. I'm 
maybe. Let's place another bomb here. See if we can. Where was that? Over here? Yeah. Don't think that gets me there. Maybe. Friends till the end. gonna hurt isn't it do it full health okay we do it again come on now or can I make it all the way over there ha oh. can I make it out I don't know oh wait Ah, oh, shit. That was lucky. Kinda useless. One bomb remains. Can we go here? Oh no, zero bombs remain. I used them! What the hell is generating flies? It's probably just heart pickups, I guess. Alright, there's finally our health up. Take whatever health I can get right now. That's all I got. I got tons of books left behind. What was the item we left behind? Ah, yeah. Very weird run right now. Nothing much really adding to our stats at all. Last pill I took was full health, right? Yes. Pretty good. Good defensive item. We take one damage in a room and we all of a sudden our tear rate goes through the roof. I like that. No, seriously, what's causing the flies now? Ah, maybe that was just a heart drop. Mm, not sure. Book of Shadows? Mm -mm, no, I'd, I'd definitely rather keep this over Book of Shadows. Book of Shadows is good, but hopefully we... If if we need to use Book of Shadows as part of our day-to-day -day operations, we got bigger problems. And all of a sudden we got a stack of cash too. Okay.
Come on, man. John Ebo, what's up, dude? How you doing? Good to see you, bud. Runs are, uh... Runs are happening, I guess. I wouldn't say they've been good tonight, no. I'm dead. Alright, I'm gonna quit out. For some reason, it's my keyboard's taken over. Let me start that again. Does that every time too, even though it's... I think it's the cable, I think. I have a feeling. Freaking keeper, yo. Interesting. Let's see if we can get a luck up now, eh? Malganus, how are you? Man? What's going on? You're okay existing? Yeah, I'm having a rough, rough evening. It's, it was weird. I was in the a fantastic mood earlier, um, and then I. Uh, Let's just say I had a few bathroom issues that I had to attend to. Uh, prevents active item from charging. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I've just I've just been out of it since then. It's weird. It's all right. Shit happens, they say. Get it? You, you might not get it. It was a very subtle joke. Get our luck up, that would be delightful. Maybe a luck up pill in rotation? Of course. me a key. Do I have my two doses? Vaccine? No, I haven't even had my first one yet. Why the, uh, why the sad face, Necros?
Good. Go again. Oh, library. I would have actually liked to check that out. It's okay. Three dollar bill. That's a keeper. Hell yeah. Ah, okay. It switches between... Right, right, right. It's not... I'm thinking of fruitcake. I'd like that as well. That'd be dope. Sad when people choose to not get vaccinated. I mean, I appreciate you passing judgment on me. Um, I am not anti-vax by any stretch. I have social anxiety. Um, and I'm extremely busy. Um... So in between bouts of depression, I would love more than anything to go and get vaccinated. Choose to delay. Alright, I think we'll just leave the conversation there, eh? Found another? Oh my god. Well, wafer doesn't really help us. I will blow you up, I guess. Very nice. Alright, we've got outstanding damage. $3 bill I'm starting to regret a tiny bit. Just because uh, some of the effects can be quite detrimental. But uh, we'll, we'll be fine, I think. That shot speed. Oh my god. Just had to click my stream marker button. It's good, uh, good TikTok content. Once my Twitch exclusivity period is up all right let's see how quickly we can demolish this boss huh? Uh-oh. You've been sucked into Genshin? I've, I've never played the game. It's kind of like Breath of the Wild, I've heard, right? Wow. Luck up. Love it. Your partners have the 24-hour period, too? Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's worse. I'm... I'm exclusive to Twitch when it comes to live streaming, period. AKA, I've done TikTok Live a couple of times. I shouldn't have. Lock up. Okay, we can go in here now. I mean, ordinarily speaking, like, let's say in general, right? Streaming is, it, there's not many restrictions at all, right? Just, just be aware that whatever you say, if it's public, people are going to be able to take that information and, and form judgments on you. Um... 
I'm, I'm not concerned about that. I'm not a problematic person in, in my eyes. But with Twitch specifically, there is a an exclusivity period. So your content belongs to them for the first uh, 24 hours. Once the stream's ended, then you can post anything from that stream, right? Um, anywhere else. You can chop it up, you can edit it. What people don't realize, and, and a lot of people on TikTok are guilty of this, is that um, if you read the definition of your contract, uh, that exclusivity period isn't just about content. It's not about audio, it's not about video, it's about you. You, the streamer, are exclusive for 24 hours for that stream. So people that co-stream to other platforms, people that co-stream to, uh, to TikTok, even if it's a different camera angle, beware. The likelihood of Twitch doing anything, I would say next to nothing. Is that something I'd like to find out? No. Well... They're doing a giant arena in four days? See, again, I don't... I don't know anything about Genshin. Um, I've heard of some successful streamers take off with Genshin, but I, I don't know enough about the game to ever even... I mean, I didn't like Breath of the Wild, so... I'm probably not going to like that. Is it legal to do that? Sounds way too close to owning somebody. Feels weird. In the contract, bro. I don't know what to say. Said that red patch, sure. Ah. Let's get another coin on the field before I get carried away here. Am I a wizard? Yeah, that's. That's one thing in $3 bill I don't like. Okay. I think I think Twitch needs to change um, quite a few things about the way they run things, but I'm not an expert on that. So. Oh boy. Oh no. Come on, just not take damage. That's all I gotta do. Rags, just you and me, bud.
dope. Let's go heal. Did I try a bomb here yet? I'm not sure I have. Let's do that. Negative. Jar of flies. Vasculite is very strong. I should be able to get that, actually. One of my tear effects is magnetic tears. Just got to be a little bit patient. Oh, some of these are rough. We got boomerang tears in there as well. Yeah, Twitch, um, I'd, I'd love to see Twitch make a lot of these changes. I really would. Um, once the other platforms get feature parity and then, you know, like decent audiences, Twitch will have to do something. I mean, competition keeps them fresh, right? Hopefully. Could get sulfuric tears with $3 bill. I think we need fruitcake for that. Yeah, it's weird how they've divided like tier effects and then tier behavior is slightly different. Who's that one? I don't think I've seen that before. Hello, Demon Slayer. How you doing? It's like a combination of two to three different effects, maybe? I'll be back. Shit. I never would have thought $3 bill was a mistake up until this run. Oh. There we go. Thank you. Up, sure, what else? No bombs, We've got 15 cents, so let's check the store again. What 
What have I left behind? We haven't found anything. Oh, I still need a bomb, right. Okay, I'll take one of those. Must be down there. Right, whatever. Okay, it's fine. Let's get out of here. Before I get really mad. the one that delays my shots like there's a massive uh tear rate down i don't know what's causing that it is substantial to say the least I, I would possibly re-roll re -roll the entire build just because of $3 bill. I don't think I'll ever take it again, at least with this character. Other characters have had a lot of fun with it, but this is this is wild. The one that gives you the big super tears. Polyphemus? Maybe. Maybe. Because he's shooting three and our tier rate's already so low, possibly. items. One thing about that um, vasculitis that I don't like is the fact that I can't tell what shots are what. Like there's just tears, little red tears going every- oh god once something dies and it's luck of the draw whether or not it's your own shot or theirs starter deck i might it might as well i meant card cool Teleport cards. That might come in handy later. Hmm. I think I'll do another wait here. See if we can get both of these things. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's Wheel of Fortune, never mind. Just this then. Well, 
Oh, no, we did one for two. That's fine as well. The Rapid 99. How you doing? Oh my god. Can you please post that on Discord and tag Ms. Queeb on that? That's amazing. That's probably the most... Ama oh, you did. Yeah. I'll tag her. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love hump. <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, and if you're out, take it easy. What's that one called where they sort of start big and get smaller as you progress? As the tears progress? Ah, I'm gonna kick myself when you say it. I always forget the name of some of these. Starts with an A, maybe? Proptosis. Exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah. It's almost like every single tier effect is making our, our tier rate just as bad or worse. Um, we're at full health. We could go back to the challenge room. I can't be bothered. Let's find the boss. Tears up, range up, tier height spawns three random hearts. I'll take it. Haven't had this little dude in a while. He's pretty cool. Proptosis was reworked in a good way or a bad way? See, I just don't know what shots are what there. I mean, it's probably all mine, but I, I just never know. Oh! Alright, okay, good. This is excellent because we're getting a lot more tear effects. Ah, uh, sorry, tears, rather, even if they're coming from... Followers. No argument there. Monkey Lawn Gnome. Set to finish Final Fantasy X 10 2 tomorrow. Well, the best of luck with that, my friend. You have a great night. Keys at the moment. Do not go in there, that would be bad.
Yeah, all right. A little bit toasty. But, good news, that kind of removes all of the concerns about $3 bill. Kind of. Oh, and we're getting triple shots because of the fact that we are... Keeper. So three, three bombs. Planetarium chance. Do I want to take that? Yes, I do. Goodness me. Flap. really go back for a heal, I think. Okay, weird. We do get the secret room. What are we missing here? Arcade. Mm. High Priestess. Yeah, I'll take that. Felt good because I hate that guy. It's fracked. Thank you very much for your four months. Very kind of you to support. It's kind of useless, wasn't it? So if you hear a hum in the background, that's just my air conditioner. Uh, I apologize in advance because it's going to make a little bit of noise. Should I go through here? Hmm. Let's check here, actually. No, let's not risk it yet. Oh, I do have the full card.
This one's... It's all right. $3 bill is still kind of messing me up a little bit. It's not horrible. Turn all pickups, chests, and non-boss enemies into hearts. Hmm. Good for killing, I guess. With the fool card, I can steal the item. Oh no, never mind. It's not a boss challenge. No, nope, not worth. Yeah, let's get to the shop, see what's available. Planetarium. Well, there you go. Paid out straight away. Perthro. Okay. I wonder how Perthro works in the planetarium if we need it. Yeah, because that's garbage. Let's roll. Neptunus builds a massive tier bonus over three seconds while not firing. Shooting again will release stored tiers. The tier bonus falls off as you fire. Sure. Open the floodgates. Two, three... I don't think it does shit. Kinda useless. Another high priestess. Come back for the... Oh. Another full card. What are we on right now? This is the... This is the mom fight, right? Shit. Almost dead. Let's go back. Oh yeah, it's, it's easy to start wanting to uh, clear entire rooms and stuff. All right, let's get uh, get that as well. Restock. Ogre bombs. No, I don't really need that. Don't need that at all now. Of course I don't. What I would like to do, however, what's that magician? Is go back. Clear the curse room. Because if we don't get a devil slash angel room, then I want to...
at least try to port there myself. another fool if yeah we'll keep that for boss rush we'll just steal an item from there totally fine Just giving us more flies, by the way. this room I'm going to die fuck me I do have High Priestess. Okay, we're going to use that. Never mind, I didn't even get a chance to. battery for sale? I should be depositing cash is what I should be doing. It's making me very nervous. Okay. 
It's for the best. Here we go, depth two. All right, good. Oh boy, off to a good start. It's the delay that's doing it for me. should grab that. Ah, shit. Yep. <laughs> ah, perfect. Hey, Avalon, how you doing? Do you get health back as the keeper? Yeah, when you pick up coins, you don't... Those coins don't go to your wallet, though. They go to your, your health instead. Oh, butterfly. Okay. Okay. $3 bill there was definitely the slow and insidious killer. I think. Definitely nothing to do with my suboptimal gameplay at all. So Botfly isn't quite as useful as Sci-Fly. Having both is actually really good. Hive Mind. What does that do for our current situation? Mind you, 15 cents on the first floor is very unlikely. It'd be a giant bot fly with giant bullets, no doubt, huh? Larry? Should I be dead? Marbles, okay. You have my attention. So marbles is uh, when you take damage, you have a chance to spawn, sorry, to swallow a, uh, a trinket that you're holding. Well, kind of 50-50 here, huh? But I only have the one bomb anyway. Get out of here. 
Good night, uh, a chorus. You take it easy, man. We definitely can't carry two, right? No. Correct. See, his shots are kind of slow, too. That's one of the major differences between him and um, Sci-Fly. Sci-Fly just straight up throws himself at... Um, at Tears, whereas this guy's like, Eh, I'll shoot it. See what happens. Crack the sky. All right. Thank you. I need to be living that best health up life. Four room charge for Crack the Sky. I mean, I know it's powerful, but it still has to hit first, right? Not guaranteed. Arcano. See if we can crack this guy, whoever this is. Hey, <laughs> it actually worked. And we took out the little dude for once. God, that hardly ever happens. I like it. scary these guys they do kill themselves right if they can't reach you by the time they um die then their life was for nothing double charge now let's blow that up first 36.3% I've already beaten the boss here, haven't I? Yeah, okay, that's fine. go in there we go that's about all I can do yeah should have used that bomb a little bit better maybe take out the tinted rock although that possibly wouldn't have gotten us anything either is dark Something about his movement patterns frustrate me from time to time. Uh. 
and I'm dead. Again. Boy, oh boy. I am having a great time on the first floor tonight. Me with like, uh... No. Would be a great starting item. Not that. Anything that really takes advantage of the, the triple shot would be nice. Again, tier effects except $3 build up. I will not be getting anytime soon. Uh, I didn't enjoy that at all. And then sooner or later, we'll end up with an item room here. It's about to happen. Any any minute now. Oh my god. <laughs> Bob, Bob's brain. Flabbergasted at my lack of success here. This is uh, probably one of the most challenging runs I've had. Okay, I can rapid fire this. A um, little bit more useful than... Almond milk. I wonder what the two milks together would be like. Hmm. Um, because there's no knockback with chocolate milk. Whereas almond milk uh, has all the knockback in the world. This has none. And I'm dead. Keep it going. Let's, let's not stop this train until we reach Winsville. Could be amazing. Could be. If that heals us, then... Yeah, that's kind of perfect. We'll see. The trouble is I need to be less health first. I mean, yeah, you can hang back here with me. That's cool. It's like a sheepdog that doesn't know how to sheep. Yep. It heals. God, could you imagine if it converted that straight to money instead of giving, like, heals? We'd be rich in, like, three rooms. <gasps> A 
Leech MVP. Okay. Three bombs right now. Do we take the money and run? Does pentagram not count as an evil item? I'm not sure I believe that. All right, pretty good first floor. wanted to take damage there. Leech. Thank you. Not that much damage though. Maybe a little bit too much. God damn it. This is it. I can I can feel it in my bones. Sack. Okay. I need a key. Trinket? Possible bomb situation here. Tears for current room three range up. Um, I'm gonna take Book of Secrets here. That may be a mistake. I'm not sure. Tears down. Well, got to identify him sooner or later, right? I think Book of Secrets. Six room recharge, that's fair. And we are two thirds to Bookworm already. Hello Camilla, how you doing? How's your night tonight? I'm doing a lot better than I was before. <laughs> um, and now just trying to get over the mental barrier of this run being exceedingly difficult. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, 
Okay. Was there anything of value in the store? I maybe have enough money to make it happen. Let's double check. Mm, almost. Nope. What the hell? I'm onto you, Duke of Flies. Am I playing as the Lost? Uh, sorry, as Blue Baby? No, I'm playing as um, Keeper. Arguably worse. But this is an alright build so far. Happy with the pickups. I'm not going to spend a bomb to get a, a coin, single one. I see ya. You ain't hiding from anyone. I think he looks actually quite cute right now. Some kind of weird, weird way. Oh, we have a dice room. Very nice. Give me a number five. I could do with a, a room reroll or a floor reroll. pedestal items on the floor okay so if we do find a library or something we don't like we can re-roll it it's kind of cool we weird but cute yes Seven damage, I'll take it. And then every 13 enemies killed, we get healed. That may pay out, may help us out a little bit. All right, all right, I didn't see you there giant bright green uh, train of flies headed my way. We just healed, but that wasn't based on a kill, I don't think. Oh, maybe it was. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I love the character and I love playing him, but to get like fully going, to get like that steamroll action happening, it's not easy. Shit. I'm dead. Speed up. Tears up. Speed up. Good. That was very good, actually.
Retro vision. My eyes. Is there a point to using Book of Secrets more than once per floor? Oh, Retrovision actually making this fight a little bit easier. <laughs> Health up. Dope. Sure. Have we not been into the shop? Why have we not been into the shop? Hello, Commando. How you doing? No, it did. It did pixelate. There's a pill called Retrovision. Oh, because I was saving a key. I was going to bomb my way in there. That's right. Tears down pill. Well, let's ignore that for now. That was money well spent. I could technically go back to the curse room. We have no pedestal items, right? So we could roll the... Uh, I don't think there's a reason to roll Book of Secrets more than... More than once. Amnesia, shit. No, that does nothing for us. Unless we check the shop again, but I don't think we left anything behind in there. Not if it reveals both secrets. Ah! Okay, cool. Oh, it did reroll the shop. All right. Well, I don't want that. Technically not on a pedestal, but that could be item description. Mod not uh, being very well worded. Gotcha, 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 okay. Oh, shit, yep. Let's go again. Oh, I'm gonna have to give up soon. My rope is short and I'm near the end. Well, that's a great start. However... Oh, yeah, okay. We <laughs> can use your shots sparingly. That's horrifying, by the way. So we need a massive uh, tier rate up. something that breaks the tier cap, obviously. God damn, that's slow. Woo! Massive damage, though. I can't say no to it. Actually, if we get Bookworm, is that... Is that tears down? I think it might be. Uh. OK, 
Okay. Let's do one more room before it, and then I'll use... Um, well, we don't have Book of Secrets anymore, doofus. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I wonder what soy milk would be like with this build. Probably be quite epic, I'd imagine. Hello, absolute unit. How are you doing? Hate it. Damage and range up. Four point oh six damage up. Holy shit. Doing twenty two damage on the first floor. I mean, we fire slow as hell, but yeah, yeah, I'll take that. I've never seen one of these fully sealed off. That's funny. Can I destroy rocks? No, that must have been just an effect of the guy blowing up, maybe. Seven cent treasure map. The world. Mm, no, I don't need the treasure map. Shadow Eye, hello. If it was the secret map, I'd probably take it. And leave all these coins behind, because we're going to use them. I'm going to try to min-max this, this one. Goodness me. That's terrifying. It's a chance to explode, I think, right? Not guaranteed? Maybe guaranteed? I don't know. Let's start with this. Let me take on the boss as well. Let's get that out of the way. And I have three more bombs. Uh oh.
Got him. This does literally nothing for us, I think. Yeah, we don't get a bone heart, obviously. I feel blessed. Ah. <laughs> Me like pyro or host hat, please. <laughs> I'm very scared. We had more coins somewhere, didn't we? I think. Where was that? Drop a random pickup when you get hit. That could be quite good as well. Nice defensive little item. Possibly. In there. Okay. Let me clear the rest of the floor first. Flies are doing like one and a half times my damage. That's why it's one shotting everything. If we ever, 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 ever are able to uh, become guppy. Pretty sick. Oh, oh, oh boy. That's an emperor card. Okay, so we can mess around a little bit here. Here we go. You said the G word. Old G word. What what did I say? Oh, guppy. Okay, yep. See, ordinarily I'd say the game's listing, but yesterday I asked it for a specific item and I didn't get it, so you tell me. the uh, coin up here. Where is that? Okay, two. Big money, no whammies. Random chess. Fine. Uh, one soul heart, random chance at one item. Just give me, give me the 33 coins and I'll be on my way. 30, 30 coins. What's next, by the way? Troll bombs. That could take me out. If I had an extra health, I'd maybe go for it. No, let's not do it. Just to be on the safe side. And we'll trade one bomb for a key here. Exercise restraint. Uh, 
Uh, piercing shots. Very important. Wow. Uh, piercing shots with Polyphemus are perfect. When entering the room, killing the petrified enemy freezes it. Nah. It's fine. Speed up's nice too. Taking red heart damage, spew red tears, control direction with shooting buttons. I'm going to try it just for science. Who knows how it works in this situation? Oh, sensor slows down enemies as well. I completely forgot. Okay, that's cool. I guess I just have to not take damage for the rest of the run. Um, if we do get hit and it is active, then it'll kill us. I'm pretty sure. Range up tier size, okay. Uh, Seraphim, very good. I would very much like that health up though. Should we take him out? This is a mistake. Oh no, I can't do this room. Oh no. Yeah, I legit can't do that room. I, I couldn't do it at the best of times, let alone with two health. What do we got? Oh! Hello. Welcome. Sensor can screw up timings of those trap rooms from time to time. 
Um, the beast fight is very difficult if you've got sensor, uh, specifically for the phase where he's shooting like a ring of fire at you. Forget about it. You're gonna take damage. Hello, Death Ray. How you doing, man? Sun card. Plus one luck while held. Spawns a random trinket. Mm. Getting ready for bed? Right on, man. the run's been pretty rough 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 night all around actually um no nah, I'm, I'm doing all right now but i had a had a bit of a tough time before let's take that let's not go back into the trap room yeah let's get out of here That's oh, all good, dude. Um, we each go through uh, problems from time to time. Twenty-seven cents. Now we're cooking with coins. Oh. to see inside at the very least. Here we go. Item room. First killed enemy... First killed enemy in the room will explode and poison... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very strong. You had food poisoning? Oh man. It sucks. Isn't the human body just a wonderful thing? So this is the run easily? Oh boy. Oh boy. First time?
<laughs> oh my god. Well, there's my health up. Ah, uh, shit. It does it on the minute, right? Okay. Let's take it. We go quickly now. So here's the plan. Here's the plan. We go in here. Um, so that's a major problem. Shit. I was hoping that wasn't the case. Um, just hope. So it does count as red heart damage. Might be the end of the run. Uh, what we need? Well, we have a heal now, which actually just paid out before. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. should not have this. I don't want bouncy shots with uh, fire mine. That's real bad. How do I do this now? Jesus! Risk it for the biscuit, maybe. If I had a way of getting like summoning coins on the ground. I just gotta leave. I can't, I can't afford to do it. Take two damage and then, mm. Hello Hayden, how you doing man? Well, that certainly wasn't ideal, but, oh boy, that's kind of worth, isn't it? Screw it. What have I got to lose? Suicide King? We don't have a plus one. Let's leave that there. I don't want to be accidentally carrying my death around in my hands. That would be very bad. All right. Well, mental note, glass shard, just all round bad. I don't know if there's any redeeming factors there. Redeeming qualities. Adds an extra secret room and super secret room to each floor. Secret rooms contain a beam of light that give tears up for the current floor and half a soul heart. Sure, fine. Which is active already, it seems. a ton of cash. 
I have played Risk of Rain 1 and 2, yes. There's about 50 hours of Risk of Rain 2 on my YouTube channel. Second YouTube channel, I should probably say. Yeah, let's get that. Well, the, the second YouTube channel is... It's a completely different channel. So if you found the, the main channel, that's fine. P.S. If you missed it, um, I did upload a... the From the streamathon, where Ms. Quib and I played Isaac together. Thank you, Death Red. Very kind, man. Thanks for the bits. Take it easy and have yourself a wonderful night, dude. So interesting. While I have two HP, it doesn't seem like Shard of Glass is affecting me. But if I had three HP, it does. I'm sure it could still kill me, though, right? Like it's. Legit still active at that point. Well, shit. Am I dead? Gotta keep moving. So the secret is to just have, uh... 2 HP. I don't know why I even bothered... Casting Guppy's Paw. That was a bit silly. Yeah, Commando. Um, I'm fighting with a few smaller entities on the internet, like... Um, oh, what's that one company? There's Disney. Um, there's a small... Uh, like, I don't know, back alley fashion designer called Alexander McQueen. There's... Uh, some, some loser by the name of Steve McQueen thinks he's an actor. Like, yeah, right. What have I even seen him in? Yep, but I have been assured by Google... Uh, customer support. Which do, funnily enough, exist. That uh, if people search for McQueeb and then click on the... No, I meant McQueeb. Often enough, uh, YouTube apparently learns that. Right. So the, the other guy, McQueen, he's... Uh, definitely, let's call it a different kind of content to mine. Jeez, why not? Three times the damage up close, but then it deteriorates over time. That's fine. We just need range ups or homing or something. I don't know. No, it wouldn't be there. Oh, we found that one already. 
Oops. A Davla deal? Yeah, let's have a look. Sure. A chance to not take damage? I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Uh. Now nah, let's go. Let's get out of here. I really don't want to maintain two health. I think I have to, though. Problem is also fire mind and having to be now close range. That's a problem. Good morning, Big Bones, Jones, McGones. How you doing? Homing bombs, whatever, it's fine. There's my meal ticket. I mean, the damage we are doing is pretty freaking good, man. I wouldn't have found that in a million years. Oh, we've got four rooms now. And our fire rate is going up and up and up and up. the runs uh pretty rough hey rab how you doing man pretty rough tonight these are all keeper runs and uh this is the furthest i've been i think uh oh uh oh i need a coin Range up would be good. That would be my first mom item, I think. I'm almost spun, actually. If we can get another uh, another syringe, we'll be looking at a good time. Very glass cannon build here, folks. Converter. 
Converter doesn't do anything for us. That room's a bit suspect. Shut speed down. I think we leave, huh? Yeah, let's get out of here. Bye. That's actually a very good item. And it's free, so why not? I'll leave a coin in there. Ah, uh, this is where I wish I knew where we were going. <gasps> Sir. Ah, oh, we're Devil Deal only, right? Yeah. Good luck before your first Aussie Rules game in almost two years. Damn, dude. Aussie Rules, there's a game I don't quite understand. And I happen to be one. Joker, okay. Let's do it. I'll take it. Speed up. Sure. Uh, the reason I didn't take the tech point five earlier as well is because I have to be so precise with my shots that um, it, it almost wouldn't have been worth picking up. The offensive capability versus, versus how much damage we're already doing. Um, and then Eden's Blessing was on the table, so that was pretty simple. Simple decision, really. What are you doing? What are you doing? I hate it. Another time. Tons of keys, so if we do hit the chest, we're going to be laughing. Another health up. Damage up. 0.5 damage up for each evil item held. We lose two damage. Might as well just stick with the horn then. Hmm. Alright, let's... Try to get to the boss ASAP. Ten, 10 keys. I ain't I ain't playing around, buddy. I ain't doing it. Not today. Shit, am I dead? 
Oh, it stops once you get to one health. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, we're currently in a bad spot. I'm going to have to play this dude. Be nice. Good. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't realize it stopped. I thought it could straight up kill you. Maybe that's not the case with the keeper, though. Either way, I don't think it's a positive item. The uh, glass shard. Very good. Another health up. That's also a full heal. for now I don't does that give us speed as well I'm, I'm good on speed actually <laughs> see watch this I'll take uh, another damage I think unless I were to pick up a coin right now And then I should stop. Yeah. So actually, while we're while we're in this state, we can backtrack and look at the boss challenge room. Luck up, health up. I'll take it. Go pick up a coin before I bleed out. Okay, that it makes it more manageable. More cards up here. No. Just looking for the boss right now. Cool. And can we do it? Let's see. behind. There's a couple. Alright. Let's have a look in the here. Short. That's fine. Health up. Doesn't do anything when you're already at max. Shot speed down. Let's drop that. Yeah, let's go get coins. the last one we left behind. Uh, what? Way back up here. Oh, that's funny. I didn't... I went in here, but I didn't even bomb my way over here for some reason. Extra key. Should we play this guy out? Sure, he might give us something nice. Come on, bud. I ain't playing. Neither is he, apparently. Hey, Shub, how you doing, man? 
What's going on tonight? Sleepy? Yeah, I'm getting a bit that way myself. And we're going... Not going to hush. We're going up. Then I gotta fight through Cathedral. Because that's our main target. It's our main goal right now. Woo! Of generating even more flies. Oh my god, he's so good. Alright, let's leave the coins there just in case. room. Not really interested in that. Yeah, the problem is now keys. Um, we need, we need keys. Well, that's a good, good way to start adding them. Oh, yeah. All right. One sec, folks. Let me just turn off the air real quick. Somebody shooting my tears? Who's doing that? Like, straight up duplicating my shots? Not anymore. Oh, it must be Little Delirium. He took a form that does that. I didn't even know that was a thing. So good. Going up. That's Isaac done, meaning we've unlocked Wooden Nickel, I think. Thank you. So from now on, the runs should be slightly easier. Should be. So dangerous, man. Oh, nice, very quick heal. That timing was unbelievably good why is it gonna be dark though it's annoying okay more coins i'm gonna leave all the coins on the floor way too risky if i didn't have uh what do you call it Uh, if I didn't have um, Fire Mind, I'd consider it. And I kind of need to know where all these secret rooms are too.
The damage is something else. Chest meat. Yeah. Good. How do we get it to open Mega Stan's door, though? We have to take damage in here, I believe. Yep. So Mega Stan is now accessible. Uh, and we did unlock an extra room location as well. Secret room. And the more secret rooms we do... So here's the thing. Do we want to go to Delirium or Megastan? I mean, preferably both, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. If we had a choice... Magician. Okay. We'll save that for Mega Stan. Uh oh. Let's go get a coin. So far, so good. Feeling. Pretty decent. It's it's all damage, by the way. That's the only reason I'm feeling good. Can still die very very easily. How am I feeling about the chances for this run so far? Oh, we can beat. I'll beat Blue Blaby. Blue Blaby. I'll beat Blue Blaby. Blue Baby. No sweat. Mega Stan's 50 50. 70 30. I'd like some more items though. Maybe that's my luck stat being zero. Not the best though. That. Oh, that's not good. It's quite promising. What can you give me? Just other trinkets, I think. Yeah. So that unlocked the location of another... Go real slow. Back. We gotta collect more coins. Uh, another secret room. Every one of those we get seems to increase our lowest stat, which I believe. Actually, I think it's our lowest stat. Um, but that would be tears.
come on. It could just be tears every time. I don't know. Blue baby, let's go. Thank you, sensor. Uh oh. All right, blue baby done. Yeah, if only I had generation, some kind of generation. Oh, we see our super, super secret room right there. No red key for that. Another secret room down below. That's all four secret rooms done. Potentially play this out as well. What's the best we can get here, though? I don't know if it's worth it. Nah. So that's a guaranteed, a guaranteed angel room if we do ever get the chance to uh, get into the red, the red stuff. I think that's the entire floor. Oh shit. Okay. It's pretty good, man. Ah. Uh, If I take one hit, we're going to be spewing out blood. Let's just do it. long enough we might get lucky and just grab a random heal uh, the speed at which oh no Okay, there's a heal. Nice. We got lucky. So that should happen on the minute. Each time. But it's a chance to. It's not guaranteed. Even if we could stall this. Oh no. I'm dead. <laughs> got a couple of things unlocked though. Deep pockets. And wooden nickel. We start with Eucharist here. Ah, oh, shit, I was gonna go to bed. Okay. 
Apparently that's not happening yet. So Eucharist, Eucharist is uh, guaranteed angel rooms <laughs> moving forward. I should activate them um, at the start of a room, I guess, rather than at the end. And any kind of battery items would be really useful for us as well. Now on the first floor, we, we don't get a guaranteed angel room, do we? Nah, no way. I mean, maybe? Bible. I'll take that. Oh my god. We're already loaded. Kills you when used on Satan. Good. <laughs> we won't do we won't be doing that. Oh wait. Idiot. It's a carry item. We're, we're not taking that with us. Yeah, I don't know about the first floor. Library 2? What? Please don't die. Please don't freaking die. Holy shit. Well, that's uh, bookworm. Oh wait, that's a singular. Mm. All these use items. Okay, that's fine. That gives us an extra... An extra shot occasionally. This could be very, very good. Nine cents, we'll save it. Go fight the boss. Yeah, I... I don't know, I doubt we <sighs> I don't even remember what I was going to say then. What are the chances? I mean, I know the chances are very low, but seriously, what are the chances? Fuck off! <laughs> I haven't even fought the first boss yet. Okay, so not on the first floor. Luck up. Yeah, this is looking pretty tasty, huh? So we still want to go Mega Stand if possible, Delirium if possible. Angel Rooms will guarantee... the fights we need. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
There it is, 100% angel. Love it. Yeah, I should use it at the start of a fight in the room. That way, if we do take damage, I can actually heal mid-combat. Probably be the best thing. Does lack, does lack, does luck affect wooden nickel? I mean, it pays out pretty well anyway. It's straight up 50-50, right? Not funny. Sheesh. It's always 50 50. Thank you. That's a used item. Tarot cloth. Hey. So I have one. be there, which means it is probably not there. There she is. Damage up. Nice speed. Nice. careful not to pick up stuff I'm actually looking at keeping like like the uh, coins and stuff great start yeah this is good Let's get some range. Range and more damage would be nice. Uh, the good thing with Magic Mush is that it is a damage multiplier.
Hebum. I don't know, man. Leech is good. Give me like 99 keys, <laughs> then I'll take it. I got no bombs. Oh shit. Right, that's a problem, isn't it? What else dropped in here? Burkano. God, I hate not having a map. So stupid. Nightlight, no bombs. Uh... Now I have a bomb. Where did I want to take that? There. Do I do I want key beggar? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. Second syringe. All right, little bit of backtracking to do here. I'd like a Huggalaz or something, take out this entire room. Weeb. Plays like that aren't gonna cut it. Got him. Ah, oh, crap. I should have waited. Anything orange drops coins. My, my bad. Oh. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I forgot. It's more little bonus of having the sword. Yeah, without a map, I'm not going to stress about it too much. To the moon, baby. Oh, nice. The moon. <laughs> A coin beggar on your keeper runs. 
Yeah, game do be like that, I guess. Very nice. If we search everywhere, I'm not exactly sure. Nope. Been there, done that. The Zord is back, yes. Stop it. Uh, let's see if we can work out. bothered. Let's go. Wow, that's the end of the second floor, I think. Third. Unreal. Very good, very dangerous room. Well, not ultra. Space bar can be charged up twice. Delicious. Do we want compost? Converts pickups into blue flies or spiders. Doubles your current blue flies and spiders. Spawns one blue fly or spiders when you don't have any. No. This we do. Poison shots, sure. The lovers, that's flies. The lovers. Uh, let's blow this up. And you. I like these shops. These are cool shops. We have tons of cash. go back for a coin except it's setting me off in the wrong place so we're good I want to do a full clear here double dropping coins very nice Let's see if we can figure out a way to summon even more stuff either flies or uh Trinket. Let's leave that there for a sec. There's sensor again. And we've got our key already. So I guess the best thing for us right now would be... Um, uh, 
We can't be that lucky. We're not. Um, I was gonna say... Angelic Feather? What's it called? The... Uh, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, we need more bombs. There's some for sale back here. There's one for sale. in here as well. Nada. Oh, that might have been another teleport? No, it would have teleported us. Hmm, not sure. Oh, flies? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Poison tears. Meaning we can now get rid of that trinket. I'm actually happy about that. It's pretty good. Can I pick up any of these? Excited might screw me here, gotta be careful. That will now give us flies, I think. But yes, I think if we can get um the filigree feather we good, that'll guarantee an extra angel room item every single floor. Check. Yeah, we're good. Okay. This is a hell of a run, man. Hell of a run. And I think I'll go after... Uh... What do you call it? Oh no, that's still active? Um, we'll go after the lamb this time. How long does that last for? It's not permanent, is it? Not being able to see my health is a bit concerning.
Get him, leech. Come on, leech. Get him. Fifty DKP minus. I need healing. Thank you. Light would be real good as well. Oh my god. Okay, it's official. We're loaded. Joker. Might take that to the next floor, actually. Sun. Let's get full mapping for this floor. Strength. Doesn't matter. Magician. Doesn't matter. Judgment. Mm. Judgment. Okay. What you got, son? Spawns a random pickup every few rooms. Take that to the next floor. Let's see what we're missing here. All oh, right, the item room. Wasn't expecting that. Range down. No, let's go. I definitely do not like having my uh, health obfus obfuscated. It means we're not getting the most use out of our um, stuff. 99 cents, wow. And yeah, our sword got smaller then because of the range down, I think. We need to get something to bring our range back up again. I think that's good. Then we'll use the joker on the next floor. Go straight to the angel room, get that out of the way. Then look for the... Mm. Filigree feather and the fool card. Get out of boss rush again. I think we'll, I think we'll be good. 
a, it's a good run. Donate? Oh my god. Now you're thinking with portals, dude. That is an amazing idea. Alright, we can't. Next four, yes, let's do that. Yeah. Just give me sci-fly. If I take anything that messes up my run, I'm gonna be so pissed, like uh, furious. Drop a key when picking up coins. Sure. Mm. I'm just going to crawl all the way back. Nice and slow. I don't know what it is. And I didn't get any coins from that. Damn it. Sun card would be kind of good too. Running low on keys though. The sun. Item room shop. Dice room. Chance of a five is there. Let's check. Oh, I don't have enough keys. Ah, crap. Store first then? Store first. Bombs or keys? No, we won't be using that. That's good. That's real good. Every... How does that work? Every X number of enemies killed, I think? Gets us uh, another charge. And since this is a single, a single, sing, single charge item... Um, we could capitalize on that. Might be really good. That combined with four, four and a half volt. Kind of be good as well. Four. Rerolls all pedestal items on the floor. Doesn't affect devil deals. Well, that's fine. Uh, if we get something we don't like. In the item room, we'll come back. I wonder if I should wait till I do the boss room as well, then. Hmm. Oh. 
we can't see what it is. Hilarious. Now we're going to go back. We could. <laughs> I'm really scared to take items. <laughs> we could take the wrong one. Just saying. Uh, donation machine. Good call. <laughs> Redman, please. Missing a certain type of skull, aren't I? Gotta go get it. Completely forgot. Should I? I'm gonna take this instead. 25% chance to drop a key when picking up coins. Oh no, it's an extra item. It's not room drops. Already been there. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Shit. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Yeah, I need range and damage. Uh, it seems that that's... I mean, it's still carving stuff up, clearly. But at the same time, I want to be near one shutting things temperance nah secret has cash in it nine are you sure? Why? How do you know that? Is that just a thing? I left nine cents. Oh, the secret secret. Ah, shit. Oh, well. 
Oh, that's okay. That's fine. Now... The ice room will change the boss room? Maybe, but then I'd have to fight it probably as well. And I ain't in the mood to do that. Oh, I haven't done boss rush. Eh. Probably gonna need another very specific build to get that done, I would say. Although it's not gonna get much better than this, is it? Oopsie daisy. Hello, friend. What's causing you to show up? Oh, the egg thing we picked up, right? You're a friend. Right. Forgot about the egg thing. On a slowing attack fly when entering a hostile room, the fly deals double your damage. <laughs> Using an active item re-rolls it. Oh, no thanks. Try acting it again. Wow. Range up and tier size. It's not really going to help me. There we go. Go, pal. Eleven bombs, eleven keys, four bombs. Is it possible to get Magistan in the dark room? Chariot, nice. I think it, it is, right?
Oh well. Soon find out. Fifteen keys now, that's pretty nice. There we go. Got him. How are we doing for a hush kill, you think? Hmm. Oh, we, we like that around here. And I'm Seraphim. Ah, oh, so good. Um... Try to do hush. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's give it a shot. <laughs> if we get it out of the way, that would be pretty nice. Oh, darn. That's cool. So far, so good. Okay. I can handle that with the sword, is fine. And. Fuck! That's fine. Since we're rapid shooting anyway. No big. Let's look for the, um... Might be here. Chariot. We have the sun already. Sun will give me full heal if I need it. Okay. We up. Let's go. Just don't charge those shots, Queeb.
This is a mess. What are we doing? What's going on? Okay, sensor becoming somewhat problematic. <laughs> Help! Twenty percent done. I'm knocking myself back into the tears. It doesn't look like I'm taking damage from them. I should be activating that. And then maybe getting another charge. Well, there goes Holy Mantle. Another charge. Just like that. It's based on the amount of damage I'm doing. Something's repelling the tears away now? What? It's a double heal if we need it. Problem is... We're not getting an awful lot of charge. Like it's it's happening repeatedly, but obviously Mega Stan won't last this long. So the number of heals we'll get, and even then, it's a chance to drop, not guaranteed. But hey, it's better than what we had going on before. Huh? Something's healing me all, almost instantly. That might be the leech, maybe? Yeah, whatever's going on, it's not even me doing it. Oops. What is repelling the tears, I wonder? I was charging then, that was foolish. I could have... Oh shit. Run! I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Alright folks, that's gonna be it uh, for me tonight. I hope you had a nice evening. I will definitely see you tomorrow to be in a little bit of a better headspace but i will see you then thanks for stopping by i love you lots and goodbye